And we're live. Oh, we're live. And we're live. Show everyone what I'm. I'm just sipping. I'm just chilling back, having a beer tonight. You know, just in case we gotta go somewhere. So what we got is uh, we got hide oh, from 2018. Just found that. <laughs> All right, I'm actually probably kind of good enough, you know. Oh. Had to get all the HDMI cables back over here. No, I'm just gonna get the camera to battery back over here. All right, just need to buy HDMI cables. I just didn't do it. Just didn't do it. Oh yeah, we need to get longer ones. Didn't do it. Hey, look, how long a one do you want? Tens? Probably tens? Ten footers? Uh, you know what? Add it to the cart. There's Peppa Cat. You want two All of right. them? Yeah, probably. You know what? We'll Actually check get out. three. Actually get three. You know what? I'll so bump we can add the monitor. three for you. You can add the monitor. Go to cart. Watch this. And we'll just 30 total. To check out, and then I'll just ship them to your house. Sounds oh, good. Yeah. Well, thank you. Welcome back, everybody. We're the Bourbon Junkies. Tonight, we're going to talk about 13th Colony. Whiskey. All the drama surrounding all... Okay. Surrounding our whiskey of the year. <laughs> Is, re re you know, realistically... Uh, Ron just said, do we have a baby yet? No. I would I mean, not Sean's be here, here. Um, <laughs> if we did. All right. Hey, cat. Oh, too much. Too, too, oh, too much. Auto, but it's not, it works like a piece of shit. So we got it. Um, you could have just cranked the, uh, the top to overexpose it by like 0. 0.3. Pepper, I'm not petting you right now. If you think I All can day. push that button down. Nope, still too bright. All day. That cat does not give a shit. She knows I'm doing something. All right, three HDMI cards. Come to your house. Okay, and we're back. All right, everybody. Tonight, on the docket, there's a giveaway. There's three boxes, Alec Bradley Black Markets. That's up for giveaway tonight. Now, there are some of the... We're going to get everything out of the way. This will be a chaptered video, so you should be able to, like... I'm going to chapter it afterwards, so people can watch the part they actually want. Um, this will be the intro, and then uh, we'll get into the 13th County stuff, basically, for the rest of the time. Then we'll shut it down. So, uh, there are three Alec Bradley black markets going tonight. Any, it, it's going to be based on buying the uh, winners are going to be based on. Wait, Alec didn't tell me if Ryan was tracking that. And I just talked to Ryan and didn't ask him. <laughs> Alec, no, are you here? He's not here. Gosh Maybe. dang it, dude. Anyways, there's some of the Starlight uh, VDN pairings left with the Gatekeeper Coronas. Solid um, pairing. Bourbon Outfitter, great pairing, fantastic pairing. There's some of those left. So if you buy one of those, in theory, somebody who buys one of those tonight is going to get three people that buys one of those tonight is going to get a box of Alec Bradley uh, Black Markets. So that's you know going to come not shipped together, but you're going to get them both. So... Luke, thank you, buddy, for posting that. Hot Haze. Cheers. My second nephew was born today at 3.59 p.m. after being a couple days late like a jerk. Hurry up, Sean. Yeah, that's that's kind of where we're at right now, too. He, uh, he's comfy. Uh, we're scheduled for Monday at the latest. They don't want to come out. Yeah. I don't like that. Someone, I, don't, I just saw it up there. Someone like that said that they all. had a 2011 dog, or 120 minute the other day. That's an old gal. It's old. Might be too old. That's old. Well, 2018. I'll tell you how it goes here in a second. If I can drink it without Pepper smashing it out of my hand. Look at her. She wants. She yeah. wants. Toshi, oh. thanks for the member, buddy. 29 month or evening boys ready for the 13th colony form. Oh, yeah, that's good. Um, So, Rodrigo, really quick before we get into this, because once we get into the 13th colony thing, I think that we, we explain everything without chat interruption. We talk about it for a little while. This will be like a topical thing. That'll be like a video portion, basically. And then we can do like chat parts of it. 
the good news is instead of doing it here, we get to watch Peppa smack Sean in the face <laughs> with his tail, dude, constantly, which is fantastic. She knows she is full blown cat right now. She knows I'm trying to do something. Therefore, she must be in the way. I don't, I don't know what she wants on this desk. Nothing. Oh, you didn't. Cookie's laying in your chair right now, licking his paw. He's a good cat. Yep. Yep. I got a good one. Um, so Rodrigo asked, I just saw 13 County today, was wondering what it was and if worth buying. 13 County is a distillery over in oh, Georgia. Yeah. And um the Americas. Honestly, most of the products we've had from them have been phenomenal. I think I don't actually don't think we've had one that we didn't like ever. I think that would be a fair statement. Yeah. Whiskey of the year right here. Their rye, uh, like their normal rye that's like 30 or $40, is probably one of the best value ryes on the market. Yeah. I mean, their, so, bur- their small batch bourbon is like 40 bucks, and we really like that too. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, there have been some like four and five year, and si- or not four, I don't think, five, six year picks on the market. Never heard anything bad about any of the picks. We tasted a five or six year pick while we were there. I mean, we loved say, it. Our pick is 10 years old. <laughs> This fella right there. We focus. actually had. Do we have like a six year in ours? We had a You're, six year and a ten year, and, and we it had, was a split group between the six and the ten. Yeah, we had people split. that voted for the six. Now, I do think that like is like a mass market. Whatever the six was, just like everybody would have enjoyed that, no matter what. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. The ten year is one of the best bourbons. I mean, Cam literally put it whiskey of the year. Truly, um, Cam from I, Drums and Dram. Did we did is. Is uh well the are you talking the bourbon? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. We put the bourbon as number one. Also, I don't remember where it came. Well, but not our Matt. pick though. Oh yeah, can put our put pick like, first of the year. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, you did tell me that. Never mind. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's wild. Thanks, Kim. Um, Matt put it like fifteenth or something like that. The the double oak. He doesn't like double oak products that much. He even explained it um, in his video. He was like, I'm like very sensitive to that double oaked flavor. To good flavor. It's very, very strong. Just, in that. You know what I mean? Yeah. The I crazy, can't crazy part with Matt, if you think about it, he became head slash master blender at Barrel King, right? Mm-hmm. Immediately after, insanely picky. Isn't that it's odd? Bougie. Very Isn't that bougie. Odd? Very odd to me. He thought to himself, now I've got this big ass title in front of Matthew Porter. Maybe that wasn't good had enough for me anymore. Wild Turkey, Wild Turkey on there. And now, you know, Master Blender. That's wild. What a weird and what a weird place to put uh, literally our number one by a margin. Um, but really quickly, Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Also, this or this will be, I think this is the last thing that I need to announce, but 9 p.m. Eastern on Friday, whiskeychannel.com. Mm-hmm. Me versus Cam versus Grease versus Matt. David and Kira hosting. I think Shayla's going to be there. I'm not 100% sure. They're traveling the country in a van now. This is a thing that Shayla's Shayla doing. Is? Yeah, it's super cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. She just she was live streaming the other day. I popped in and I was like, are you traveling the country in a van? She's like, yeah. They're converting like a sprinter. Oh, They're in yeah. America. They're in the con- like in yeah, this I knew country. that. I didn't um, know that they were traveling um, like that in, yeah, in wild. around the country. So wild. But anyways, I'm not sure if Shayla's going to be there because of that. But the rest of the group I just mentioned will be there. There's also a giveaway. That starts at 9 p.m. Eastern on Friday. So, um, I mean, it seems like her and her husband have some of that uh, wanderlust in them. I mean, they were living in Mexico. They're talking about moving to Portugal. Yeah. Now they're driving through America in a van. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. They about that lifestyle. Whiskey track. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it, Willow. Going to be drinking the BJ Bourbon Pick in the 2023 Double Oak with y'all tonight. Never need much of an excuse to say to have such yum yums, dude. Fact that you super chat and then I had to say the word yum yums. Yum yums. A little bit, not you know maybe. Let's never say that again. Is how I put that. <clears throat> I've never felt more insecure in my life, and I've felt insecurities. You know what I mean? Okay. Saying yum yums. That, that's my... Buddy, you say like Chili Wilbur's in videos and stuff I'm good like with that. that. Yum Yum is where we're drawing Chili Wilbur's is actually increases my masculinity, right? It's a clearly showing security. I Saying Yum that. Yum's, almost the opposite. Saying Yum Yum's, you're like, get out. There's the door. That's one of those. Um, all right. So, I'm okay, this is how we're going to do this. I'm going to lay out all of the rumor, all the speculation, 
all of the things about 13th County. Luke, will you write a timestamp down and just send it to me in a thing so I don't have to do this again? Um, this 13th County has been under scrutiny from a bunch of different people. I'm not yep. even going to get into who. We don't have problems with any of those people. We, uh, you know, in theory, we kind I don't know that we have a relationship with one of them, but we don't like dislike them by any means. We have no problems with them. Never met them. Who is but, it? But, Burn Pursuit. Oh, um, yeah. I, you know, so I'm not going to say names. I mean, you're, you're like, going to meet them soon. You're like, who? <laughs> the, other, the other one was a an article, like a journal, a journalism article. Yes. A, that hit piece. I didn't, it didn't feel, you know, I don't know. I read it. I didn't think that it, I feel like I've done more journalism and I didn't feel like I uh, did. You got a few more super chats to read. I'm not reading any of them. Lukens, thanks for being a member. Uh, Mud Kip, appreciate it. Which 13th County is best with snackies in bed? Probably all of them. Uh, Copeland, thanks for super chat, buddy. What's up, guys? Baby fun. Chris, thanks for super chat. So, anyways, oh, yum yum, son. <laughs> Matt said it came in whatever place in a blind. It came in whatever place in a blind flight of twenty four whiskeys. It Wait. wasn't my list of top whiskeys. I haven't done that list yet. Wait a, a hot second. That was a live it's stream. called Best Blind Whiskey of 2023. Matt, that's kind of damning evidence. You should have deleted that video. I don't know what else we would be putting that out as. Um, <laughs> I guess it doesn't um, say Best Whiskey of 2023 Blind. That's fair. And also the, the <laughs> thumbnail says 2023, but the, the title says 2024. It's very confusing. William says sus title, dude. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now we got. We're gonna stay on topic for just this part. I'm okay. not. Look, I'm not pulling up chats. I'm not, I'm not looking at chat for this part. So the scrutiny or um, whatever accusations or whatever that have been coming out is that there might be additives such as coloring. There might be oak extract additive as as a flavoring. Mm -hmm. They might be um, sourcing or contracting. They might be like not making their own whiskey. Um, there's no straight on the bottle it doesn't say straight bourbon and then on the back or side or whatever it says produced by and not distilled by i believe that that's every one of them i think that's every single one of the rumor slash issues slash you know problems i read that whole article i i don't know i don't ha, have you heard of any other ones um no it's pretty much all that um okay. Like that's that entire article basically said all of that, that giant, I don't know how long it was. I shot through most of it. Um, but yeah, there were a lot of like unconfirmed, uh, I don't know, like stances taken against them. Mm -hmm. Um, just basically based off of hunches. Well, we'll just say that. Now, here's what I will say. And again, I'm not taking, I'm not trying to take sides with like anybody. This is just, we're going to go over what we know. Yep. Which I feel like we know the most, weirdly, out of everybody. We know a lot for some odd reason. Um, this, we went out there. We were there. We were there on a day they were closed. There's a video on our YouTube channel of us being there. There's videos. We were never, I don't think we were ever told to turn off a camera. And I did ask. Nope. Like, we always we always walk in and either Sean or I will ask, like, hey, if there's something we're not supposed to film. Yeah. No big deal Just let us know. Tap us on yep. the shoulder. Yep. yep. Tell us, shut it the fuck down. Whatever you want. Um, I don't think they said anything about not filming. They did say they're like, "Hey, Graham isn't the biggest camera guy in the world. Maybe that is what they said. you know if, if he's around, he's not gonna like that." And uh, you know whatever. So, but other than that, and honestly, we hung out with the whole staff. I believe we met everybody that day. Yeah, it's three couples basically that run the place. Yeah, um, they're basically all some form of family between the six of them, like mm -hmm. couples and couples and couples, and then. Uh, Max, the president hosted us most of the day. We hung out with Graham, who's their distiller and blender. Um, everybody was there. It was, it was actually truly, honestly, it was a great day. Like that was a really good day. We had a great yes. time. Hospitality was fantastic. Like I said, it was closed, um, while we were there. So mind you, there was no like, Hey, hush, hush on this or whatever. Uh, they, a lot of the questions that people have been re like referencing or asking, are actually in the video. They're buried somewhere in the video. But Max, the president of the company, was the one responding. So quickly, we video. can just we can just yeah, it is. It's a vlog video, but we can shut down like a few things off the rip. 
Yep. They said that they contract is sealed while we were there. They said yep. that openly. Wasn't the Dan said he left that in the video too. It's in the video. It's in it. If if you want to do some if if journalism, if you wrote a blog and you wanted to just look into you could just watch a video that's about 13th County. But anyways, um, the and that's not again, I don't have any problems with the Bourbon Street guys at all. That's not in regards to them at all. But um the the contract okay. is still outside of the state of Georgia. I know that for a fact. Like that's a factual piece of information. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> they, which would I, I could be wrong on this part, but I think that that removes the ability for them to say straight bourbon or something on it because it's from out of state. I don't. There's a thing with that, and I'm not. I don't know the 100, percent but it's something like that. Anyways, um, I know, know the contract. I, think I, I I know all the rules. Yeah, we're always and, like labeling and stuff. Yeah, someone's like that's completely backwards. I'm like, yeah, right. We're I always tried. wrong. And then, yeah. like, sometimes it's way more convoluted, and sometimes it's like, no, it was actually you guys were overthinking the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so we know they contract is still openly. They did the thing they said was NDA. They said that where they contract is still, they have an NDA. So they didn't tell us where it was at. I, I don't, I couldn't give two shits, truly. Also, you got to think, and you and I now know this, they sell enough whiskey that they're not contract distilling at another tiny distillery. Like, that's yes. clearly somewhere that has some capability to do some volume at this point right yeah we had guesses yeah we do and I, we still do now the other thing that has been confirmed and mm-hmm. i've talked to max on the phone who's the president it, we had a, a cool great conversation they're good people they were great people while we were yeah, there fantastic truly. um the they contract distill it's an nda source it's the same mash bill they do distill on site though that yep. was confirmed by max that the, the contract distillation mash bill is the same as their mash bill their home, their house match, whatever. Yeah, I'm like 98% sure he said that that day um, when we were uh, going through our samples for the pick. I, we mm-hmm. were asking questions, and I'm like 98% sure we were standing right there when he said that. That is it, their exact same mash bill. Yep. Um, just at a different location. 100%. So we know is that. that I mean, we know. Yeah, I Go mean, ahead. even in the article, they, put, they pointed out how small there still is. They and it is. obviously could not have that much volume of yeah. age stock uh, off that one still. That's that's easy to say. The other thing that needs to be taken into consideration is because 13th County, like, same for you and I, we don't know, like, we learned about them, like, four years ago, three, mm-hmm. some about recent. That. I call it, like, as of late. I would say it's probably about three years ago. I know we were in the hut. Um, yeah. It was somewhere along in poor guesses. Yes. Um, That we had the the rye blind and we both thought it was amazing. And that was when we were still guessing prices. So oh, forever ago, I remember we thought it was like a $90 rye <laughs> and it's like put, 25 or 30 dude, bucks. We put it, the t- that, that bottle was at the top of the poor guesses bottle list for yeah, a and it was the amount of time. Never going to get taken down. Yeah. So, um, we know those things. These things are true. I don't think, and also on the record, clearly Sean and I don't have a problem with contract distillation because we do that for our, our NDP. So yes, um, mostly because we actually don't have a still at all. Yeah, so we're like really real know fishy. how to make whiskey. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think, and I, Michter's contract distills not a yeah. secret. It's a secret where it's at. It's not a secret though. Yeah, you know I mean, one of the best kept secrets in whiskey ever. Bullet yeah. contract distill for a long time. Might mm-hmm. still. We don't know. Whatever. Probably still I, does. I think like this contract distillation thing. I think we just shove that aside. It's all mm-hmm. cool. Everybody does it. Most people do it. Bardstown's running a business on people contract distilling at yeah. Bardstown. Like, it's a whole thing. They, um, they aren't the only ones that also just put produced and bottled by or some variation of produced. That's true. Um, I don't know where the big hang-up came from that they have that on their bottle. Um, I mean, we know... Mm-hmm several distillers around us that contract to still okay cat you do you yes um and it have produced by yeah uh, it just it produce blend so in the ttb in the general scheme so we'll move to the produce by argument now or the yep. label that just that one statement on the label is the producing what is it producing bottled by yep. um you can put distilled by according to the ttb you can put distilled by if you if you made it or if you're saying who it was actually distilled by. Or, the back of our single barrels say distilled in. in yes. If there was never going to be an NDA ever, we could literally just put distilled by. Like, we're allowed to talk about the Sagamore stuff. 
the back of our bourbons that we've released could just say distill by Sagamore if we want. Like mm -hmm. that's a thing. Even though we didn't distill them or whatever, we weren't even there when they did it, but we did contract them to do it. Saying produced by is just a real big blanket statement. And if you're if you're blending, you're allowed to say produced by. Traverse City in Michigan had a has a lot of had a lot of probably still does baller ass MGP barrels. Yes, they do. The back of those bottles say produced by Traverse mm -hmm. City Whiskey Co. or whatever. So it's not, I don't think I don't have a problem with the produced by. It is if we want to like point to something, I guess it's like a slight lack of transparency saying produced by. Mm -hmm. They're NDA. They can't say distilled by the company anyways, right? Like, let's say you and I were the ones distilling for them and we were giving them the whiskey. It doesn't matter if it said produced by or distilled by on the back because they have an NDA as to who it actually is. They could say what state it's in, I guess. Matt but, said it must say on the label what state it was distilled in unless it was distilled in the same state it was produced in. Now it does. That's also a new rule to the that's TTB. Say that and is a new TTB. Yeah. <laughs> I think that hit in 2023 sometime. Yeah. Um, so that's the thing. Now, again, that's a new rule. So it is what it is. I guess, if you know, whatever. Luke found it. I forgot he's got everything cataloged. That was season three of Poor Guesses. Really? I think we stopped at 20... 26 like somewhere really? up there we or maybe it's 24 i know we did it for two years matt definitely a new rule definitely a new rule it's, it has to be a new rule so I, and, wait hold on everybody's just breaking the rule and we're all good with it then <laughs> well we always knew the ttb didn't give a fuck well that's just but nobody's complained about it on other people's labels like this right one sec we need we do need to something that needs to be taken into consideration is the fact that if a ton of people are doing it, I mean this, only this one person can't get in trouble for it. A Valentine bottle that says produced and bottled by. And that was done the pre years ago. Justin's distillate. Yeah. Uh I mean that is uh the TTB doesn't assume shit. Like Okay, we're getting into chat. We can, we have to do the chat thing after this because we're going to get really. I, I just saw that comment. I've been ignoring. No, no, I was because I, I got back into it too with you. It's yeah. a, it was, so, yeah. um, so okay, okay. So it doesn't say distill by, and I guess it has to if they're not contract distilling in the state. Now they are distilling their own product. I'm not saying that that's mm -hmm. what's in like the double oak bottles. I don't know that, right? I don't know like their bourbon. I know their mash bill is in those bottles. I don't know if it's the stuff they distilled. Or if it's the stuff that was contract distilled. That being said, though, the we do know when we went there, they did tell us the 13th Colony as a distillery is 15 years old. That's something I, I don't think either of us knew before that. Yeah. It's relatively because they're new. working on their 15th anniversary blend, like right now. Yes. And I think that, you know, I, I think like that. Now, here's again, I'm not implying like it's almost be their whiskey and they distill all of it. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. They've been around for longer than I think most of us think they have, and I think that's worth pointing out. Um, so 13 County Double Oaks are obviously pretty damn old, right? Um, I do think, truly, I think part of it, if we move past like the labeling by uh, the produced, I know I can countless, Sean and I could pull countless bottles in here that say produced by, and they're all sourced from MGP, and none of them are in, in yeah. Indiana. So I don't know like how you guys want to deal with that. I guess everybody's doing that. Literally half of the Michigan distilleries or NDPs are doing that, and nobody's complaining at all about them, which is kind of odd. I think the targeting, truly, my I think my the weird thing about this, targeting 13th County feels really odd, doesn't it? Um, I think it's just because when the double oak dropped, it's like we it, it kind of caught everyone off guard, us included. Like, yeah. like we said, we were really big fans of their bourbon, and really, really big fans of the rye. And then when that came out, we were like, holy crap. And then we we had just heard of them, like we said, like three years ago. We didn't know they were open for 15 years. So we, we're like very rugged by the fact that they had a 12-year product that was coming yeah. out. And we're like, wow, that's this good. And I think they just became very much, okay, okay, Cap, I love you. <laughs> just um, drive by. In that's the public eye, <laughs> because we, we we ranked it very high. A lot of other uh, whiskey tubers ranked it very high. Sure. They got a lot more popularized, I think, outside of just Georgia. And I think people like the hate. <laughs> I think, yeah, I do. It is definitely because of the limelight thing, right? Yeah. If 
and I don't, I'm not using them for any good reasons, just because I know what it says in the back of the bottle. We knew where Traverse City whiskey was coming from for a while. Yeah. I don't, I don't anymore, but we used to know where Traverse City whiskey was coming from. Might still be the same. It was MGP for sure, 100. Yeah. percent I'm, a, I'm, 100 percent sure. Thousand percent. Um, said produced by Traverse City whiskey co on the back. There's definitely no distilled by because we know that they switched distillates at one point and nothing changed on the label because. One time I went into a store and bought a black label, and I'm like, why is that completely different and significantly younger? It was just different distillate, right? So it is something the TTB lets you submit a label, and then they're allowed to enforce, you know, penalties later if you're not standing by your label, if you're not following the rules on it. The TTB approves uh something that says produced by as long as you blended it, is is like the rule that apparently they're enforcing. Okay. We've had, we've had labels denied by the TTB. We've had labels denied by the TTB because it said, it, it said um, state of distillation and it had to say distilled in like yes. that was, they literally wanted a wording change. They're real picky. So like, I think I, maybe they just don't care about this one. That's possible. It's possible. They don't give a shit, honestly. But it also seemed like they gave a lot of shits when they were, like you said, uh, rejecting our labels over verbiage changes and blurry like, font. Blurry font. That was a good one because I God. used the wrong uh, picture. Zoom. Um, uh, I mean, it, it, it. Okay. For years, I think we also said, man, it seems like the TTB doesn't care. They're just approving everything. And then we yeah. tried to approve stuff. And we found out very quickly that. It, they do care. Um, they're very, very, very critical on things like that. I don't yeah. think. I think it. I think lot stuff makes it through. it through. Stuff makes it yes, through. A hundred percent. And also, I think the other thing that a lot of people don't realize, and I'm not saying this about them, but I, I think that there was another label that we thought was approved by the TTB. People just put shit on shelves. That's the yes. thing. Yes. And like. Unless somebody goes and reports it or a TTB agent's like, I don't think I've ever seen that. And I think I've seen almost, you know, it'd be really hard at this point to find a label that there's a lot of agents. It's more than one person and more than one desk that, you know, but I do think that bottles are on shelves that TTB hasn't even ever seen before and they're just selling and then they're just hoping they never get caught. That's part of it too. Mm -hmm. But okay, let's move. I, there's not like anything to resolve there. If you have a problem with it, you have a problem with it. If you don't, you don't. It is what it is, right? They are making their own whiskey. We do know this. This is something I didn't want to skate by. Sean and I, when we were there on our trip, they were they were uh, mashing or they were fermenting. Yeah, 100%. we could smell it. They were smell distilling. Like corn everywhere. Yeah. They were distilling. Graham was very busy when we got there. Mm -hmm. We got there and Graham was running back and forth, actually like working on the distillery and some of their whiskey. And I can tell you they spend a metric shit ton on their um, like water purification. That's not something That's you would spend a lot of money on if yeah. you were faking it. Um, That's okay. I mean, it, a lot. That, that is the one of the probably the top four wildest water setups we've ever seen and the best one ever at a small distillery. Yeah. Uh, I would say as for smaller distilleries go, probably one of the best. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, they can make water in smaller batches and have it like spend more time on it where yep. people like, I don't know, Bardstown and Buffalo Trace, I'm sure they have crazy filtration, but it's also meant for speed. Yeah. Um, okay. So moving on, because that's just now this is a, that's a give or take point. You got a problem yeah. with it. it. You got a problem with it. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> moving on, we'll go to like, you just want to go to color. What else? Was, like color feels like one of the big ones. We can talk about the product, bro, the process. We saw the process. Um, All right. So, oh man, I wish there weren't stickers everywhere on this. Yeah, there so is. that that's your um, waste My barrel backbone pick. That's that's four years in a. I thought it was five. It's four in a new barrel. Uh, okay. uh, it's first fill four yeah. years, and then that's also MGP, and that's four years in a first fill, and then it's eighteen months in a wave stave. There you go. Here's seven that's years. The, I think that's in the a one. single barrel. I think that's the. I that's, think that's not the even comparison. double barrel. And we open. We know it. that for sure. And we know what happened. To, like we we opened that barrel, yeah. and thieved it out, and it looked like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, I think a lot I, whiskeys are dark. They're in Georgia. It's hot there. We know. It, it's also very high proof. Yeah. Very old. I mean. The double oaks were like 12 and 11 years old, I think, between the, the two different releases okay. that they've done. Um, 
I mean, proof definitely makes it a lot darker. Someone had talked about Coy Hill earlier, like yeah. Coy Hill, like those releases were motor oil black too. Yeah. Um, well, we've seen a also, lot of stuff. On top, you brought up Rye One, very, yeah. very, very dark. Um, we also know that like Texas whiskey, um, yeah. we've both seen Texas whiskey. There was like five. That was also coffee black, right? Like, like the like the Thirteenth Colony is, like the Coy Hill is. Coy Hill's even like a little bit more red. Um, but yeah, that, we've seen a lot Jack of Jack Daniels. Rye One was aged in Maryland, mm-hmm. and it just now that was a weird barrel. Like, should happen something that was a weird extraction or whatever. But it is possible, especially when double oaking, that something gets significantly darker. Our light oh, yeah. whiskey in three months. Went from apple juice to like an eight to ten year old bourbon. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, in one in one barrel transfer, like just one. Uh, but the thing I think like that's worth saying also is while we were out there, we saw the barrels they were using for the thirteen county double oak specifically. Yeah, coolest barrels I've ever seen in my life. Remember yeah, those character. big? Remember those big, real thick stave from yeah. the California spot? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, they were building barrels with like staves. Like normally they they have a huge like differentiation, like some really big, some really small. Those ones were like planks of wood. Okay, pepper. And I'm going to throw you outside. The other thing with the the barrel staves, the tops of them were insanely thick. Like the barrels looked significantly more sizable, maybe not in like gallons, but they just looked like they were bigger is what they looked like. Um, The... When we were there, I asked about the barrels. They explained that they love those barrels. They love the cooperage they come from. It's out of mm-hmm. California. I called said cooperage for us, for Sean and I, for our our NDP. And when I called them, I got pricing. I just got information. I said, hey, we saw these at 13 County. They spoke very highly of you guys. They liked them. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I just want to get some pricing or availability. Like, is this something we could set up so we could use these, like this cooper? I think it's hard to find like smaller coopers that do a really great job. So um at least it is like because we're new to this part of the industry. 100 well they, our moq is what buffalo well, Trace does in like 12 seconds right yeah and so uh, i talked to them and they told me and this had nothing to do with 13th county i was just talking to them on our behalf for us 36 months st- uh stave seasoning every barrel period uh every the staves are significantly thicker than like a kelvin or an isc or a space side mm-hmm. um and you can go uh, it, look up California Cooperage. I'm going to mess the name up. It's, it has oak in it. It's very simple. Their name is very simple, and it's from California. Um, it's like live oak or the oak or something like that. But uh, I talked to them. Those barrels are expensive as shit. Yeah. Those barrels, um, Sean and I have a contract now with ISC for 2024, and we we're sourcing barrels from a broker previous to the ISC contract. These barrels, direct from them, are three x the ISC wave save pricing? They're two x the broker pricing on normal char threes because they're seasoned for three years. Like that's yep. why the three year seasoning is pretty insane. I don't know like the char levels or any of that stuff for Thirteenth County Double Oak. I don't know that. I do know that it's, it's high in Georgia for their contract distillation. To add to that really quick, for their contract distillation, they do move barrels. They all said this as soon as it's contract distilled, it's moved to Georgia immediately. Mm-hmm. If the double oaks are 10 to 12, you were saying, like, if they're that old. Yeah. If the double oaks are 10 to 12 and something get, hits Georgia at a month old or whatever, right? If it hits Georgia at a month and it sits in a barrel in Georgia in a warehouse, which is a hot climate. Oh, yeah. They have a giant. Um, so if you look, watch our warehouse. travel video of it, yeah. um, I have a drone shot of it. It is gigantic. Um, and they're probably, what, like half full? of barrels yeah. right now yeah they um, have a lot of space yeah they've got a lot of space to fill up and a lot of barrels right now um but it is the the barrels are really cool like outside of the, even the whole conversation but if you go five to eight years in a, in a in one barrel and then you shift and do two to five years in a second barrel also in georgia and that yeah. second barrel is a new barrel you are gonna you are just truly going to extract some damn color you know what i mean like Dude, there's if we we've never had, we haven't we don't have five year old contract distillate. No, if we had five year contract distillate and then we spend another five years in a new barrel, that shit would in theory most likely be pretty damn dark at like a char three or four. Um, 
Well, I mean, just to go back to like the difference of, that barrels make, we were oh, when, when we first got that huge shit, or I guess the last big shipment of barrels that like 80 barrels or whatever, we had it, we we're rolling them out and you found one that was accidentally put into a wave safe barrel. Yeah. And it was significantly darker um, than anything else it was from old. that lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, we had pulled samples from a different like year and a half sample, put it next to it, and mm -hmm. it was significantly darker than yeah. just a normal barrel. So barrel yeah. makes a huge, huge difference. For sure. And and they're not using them, but like we've seen, we we've gone places where somebody will be like, That's a Kelvin barrel, that's an ISC barrel. Colors mm -hmm. completely different. Yeah. Like Kelvin Kelvin's built different seemingly than everybody else. Now 100 with all the respect to Kelvin, their barrels seem to leak a lot. And at least at our at our spot, you know and what they I mean. Cost a lot. Gosh, do they? <laughs> Dude, we have had too many four and five year old barrels that don't have enough whiskey any whiskey in it. Yeah, that is but depressing. Some barrels just leak, and we had a small sample size, so I'm sure it's bullshit. But um, so I think from the color standpoint, I don't. I just can't imagine needing. I I, I can't imagine needing to add color in an environment like Georgia. I yeah. don't. I don't. I think like a Michigan hot summer. I think you're good on color. Probably, Dan's also you know talking what I mean? The color change in a couple months in just our building, and it's probably only seventy or so in there because yeah. it is winter, yeah. and we just started moving stuff like three months ago. Um, and we've had we've seen color changes in a week. It yeah. just like up in the loft, it usually gets mid seventies. Mm -hmm. Um, it was hotter than hell there uh, when we were there, and it was off season still. It yeah, it was still <laughs> still plenty warm. Yeah, we went in like I think like fallish, and it was yeah. still hot. I'm um, pretty sure it was like very cold when we left. Yeah, um, I I think somebody there. would have to come like if you're gonna make the claim that they're adding color, you need to come up with a good reason for them to add color and as to and what you think their whiskey looks like ten years in Georgia after it's being double barreled. If you think they add color, I truly think that you. I, I think that you just are uneducated as, in regards to what whiskey looks like when it's really hot for 10 years and been double barreled. Do you know what I mean? Yes. I don't know. I just, you, we, rye one is fucking coffee filter black yeah. and gr ground dark roast ground. black. And it literally was ran through a mesh filter, it, you know, and it came straight out of a barrel and it's seven years old and it was in a Kelvin barrel once and it was stored in Maryland where it's like not that um, hot all year. What is so, it, uh, the Belcona's rye? That is not that old. That stuff is very dark too. Yeah. Texas whiskey like kind of proves the point that you just get, when it gets hot, it gets darker. You know what I mean? The whiskey gets he darker, the hotter it is. Um, And then I guess, so then we'll move on to the, uh, the oak extraction part. This will all be opinion based. It is yeah. from everybody, by the way, because nobody's run a lab test on it, which I do believe... I be the only way possible to ever actually truly figure this out. You know what I mean? I think it'd be very difficult if you're using a natural product. Um, it'd be very difficult to prove. Would oak extract be considered that? Um, I don't know. It, it, it probably could be found through like LC or something like that. Um, okay. But I don't know because I don't know what like the chemical of like an oak extract would be it really depends on what it is if it's something that is naturally occurring and sure. they're just like you know making it in a lab but it is a chemical that is already naturally occurring it would be right. very hard to tell because you could just say all right you know we're getting a lot of our a lot of that extract out because of the double barreling process because of sure. the, the wood that we're using um where we're at uh like the temperature of our rick out there's so many things um it would really just depend on what the chemical itself is. I think that, um, I think if you could figure it out, it'd be probably be a really yeah. minute amount. I would imagine mm -hmm. because it's an extract and you in theory would, it'd be a concentrate, right? Yeah. I think the, but if it I is a the, non like naturally occurring, um, like thing in whiskey, mm -hmm. you could find it at PPM levels. If someone cared enough okay. to run it through LC. Okay. Well, so in theory, the only way to like prove this is to run through some shit at a lab that's probably relatively expensive to run some shit through. Yeah, there are um, very, very few um, companies that have get out of here. Uh, the 
like technology in place to do the testing do as it, it is, sure. they probably don't care enough. And for anyone else to find a lab and run it themselves, it's going to cost a lot. It's not going to be a cheap test. Hey, somebody in chat figure that out. Tell Speaking of someone that did analytical for years. Yeah, somebody in chat find somebody. Find yeah. somebody and then tell us how much it is. And then maybe let's go down that road and just see what happens. Somebody, yeah. Somebody's got to do this, right? We'd have to find out what the chemical is, like I said. Sure. If it's naturally occurring, it would be about impossible to tell. Sure. It would have to be an un, like a, a man-made uh, chemical that is not naturally occurring in whiskey for us to see. All right. Somebody figure it out. Now, the Pursuit guys, I think, have this oak extract that they believe is in it. Okay. So maybe they could, pro they could provide, in theory, the extract, whatever this chemical is. You know what I mean? Yeah. We all have some of the whiskey at this point. You know, I feel like, I truly feel like, here's the thing. I feel like I enjoy, um, personally, Sean and I obviously both enjoy 13th County Double Oak a lot. We both liked it. We both liked it last year. We both mm -hmm. liked it the year before that. We liked our pick this year, which wasn't double oaked. Um, they're seemingly like, obviously, maybe some problems with the label. Like, truthfully, problems with the label, maybe. You know what I mean? Yeah. The, if if the distill by thing needs to be enforced right now and just nobody's enforcing it, maybe maybe that's yeah. a problem. Like that's two. It's like layered problems. I don't know. But anyways, the um, the fight comes. I think I think the I guess the biggest issue is this oak extract issue. Yeah, I think that is going to be like the biggest thing, and it is the hardest thing that you're ever going to be able to prove. Yeah, I I believe a distillery can make whiskey that tastes like this. Mm -hmm. without adding stuff into it i do believe that mm -hmm. we've had other bottles of whiskey that are fantastic um i don't 13th colony double oak isn't like it's unique but it's not like there's nothing else ever never not once has ever been like it on the market okay. i don't believe that to be true um i don't believe anybody like has accused any of the other big bigger distilleries of having these problems i think this is happening because they're a smaller distillery and for a smaller distillery or a craft is distillery to have whiskey like that is very different. That yeah. is unique to 13th Colony. It would, dude, I don't, it'd be hard to name more than two or three NDPs with great relationships in sourcing that have whiskey as good as that, right? Which that's fair. Which, which is like, I think that's hard to like wrap your mind around. If they're not lying about anything, we, we asked about the double oak process while we were there. We were told it goes, it, it's, it's, distilled goes into a barrel it's aged for like i think five to eight years or eight years it was one of those two mm -hmm. and then it is transferred into a secondary barrel it sits in that barrel for like two to four years basically yeah if that's true other than like putting distilled by if it's if that was contract distilled whiskey on the label i don't think the lack of a word on a label proves that something's wrong there's lots of labels that are just incorrect um there's lots of labels that say straight bourbon that aren't straight bourbon there's a lot of labels that say X, you know, Kentucky whiskey that come to find out wasn't Kentucky whiskey. Yeah. There's a lot of produced by in the industry, in the entire industry, like a ton. I, it's just one of those. I, I like the, here's the thing. If, if there were additives in it, I'd hope that they would come out and say that at some point, or it would be proven at this time. I, I don't just don't know why. I don't know why you would I to sell it. I guess I don't think yeah. their five-year-old whiskey is great. Right. Uh, like, I mean, something it, we like all it's, know. it comes down to the fact that we tasted um, there. I mean, our 10 year single barrel has like very faint undertones of what the double oak tastes like. Okay. That's fair. Um, I, and that not being like they're a true double oak process for them. Sure. Um, like, I mean, you could really get that. You could really magnify whatever um sweetness you're getting out of those barrels by giving it that double barrel that extra four years or whatever it be or two years sure um there is it possible to take that extract and make whiskey that probably tastes somewhat similar yeah but i don't think it's also impossible to do what they're claiming that they're doing um yeah they're not the only distillery that makes really great pretty damn old whiskey yeah, that's if if I, you know that was an assumption that they, I don't know who made it. I don't know you know the contract distillation agreement or whatever. But <clears throat> I do think the year we had Coy Hill, Coy Hill beat it, right? Yeah. Well, no, we didn't have the the double oak yet. We got that after we did 
um 2022's oh you're right because then we did we yeah. put it out and i think we got it like the month later or something you're like right that. so if um, coy hill let's just go on a hunch here if coy hill's better coy hill would have probably for you and me for us right and, if you and me it, say coy me and, me and you agree in a blind it wins that coy hill yeah. wins it beats 13 county double uh, there's no like there's no disregard for like coy hill's red as shit dude coy hill's the reddest hued whiskey i've ever seen in my life ever yes i've picked Coy Hill up in a blind and said that's Coy Hill because it's um, the, it's red. So uh, I do think, um, I think like arguing colors kind of silly at this point. You, you could argue this stuff that? has a, a really red hue to it, and this is I think that's a wine double finish, XO though. blend. Yeah, that's a, wine finish though. Yeah, I like. Is anyone accusing uh, Jack of like? adding color or doing something to Coy Hill to make it taste that good or look that way. No, it's just, I do, it, it seems very weird. I do think, I think what's interesting is like how 13th County kind of got picked out of like nowhere, I guess. I, I like, it, I think and like this all started like, like, yeah, this all kind of like it hit weird. I don't know. It, it is. Okay. We can get, we can like shift the chat now. Like some I, people, yeah, some people have said. Um, I think it's it just boils down to the fact that I don't think there was well known until a few years ago when sure. I think the double oak is really what like put them so much into the zeitgeist of the whiskey tube community. Sure. Um, it lit a fire on everyone and then started trying more things. And no one knew that they're 15 years old. There's so many things that you know they've been going at this for years and done a lot of different uh like you know, learnings along the way. I just don't right. know why people can't believe that a 12 year old double oaked cash strength bourbon can taste that way. Um, and just because it says produced by doesn't mean it's not their distillate because they contract to steal it. I think the, like, I think the weird part is we'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk to chat right at like this with the, mm-hmm. We can, I'll end up honest, well, I mean, um, look at th- Val- Valentine when Justin was there. Mm-hmm. He was distilling stuff and had for like six years. Sure. And they were still sourcing MGP yeah. and doing blends with that. And then they were going to be transitioning to his stuff. Um, they had a gigantic still. Back to the point that 13th Colony's got like a still that can do about a barrel a day probably. Right. Um, yeah. And that's the thing. I Okay. I guess like my final thought on it without before chat. Yeah. If there's something in here, if there was extractor coloring, it does. It's not bourbon anymore, right? We all we're all on the same page. We all agree on this. This okay. is. I think you and me agree. I think 100%. the consumer enthusiast, whoever, I think we all agree together yep. that if there's extractor coloring in here, then it's obviously not bourbon anymore. It's not shouldn't be called that. It shouldn't say bourbon on the label. Uh, we all agree on that. It's, I don't think that's even an argument. I think that that's a hell of a the shitty. Can I tell you the shitty part? The shitty part is. Big accusation. Yeah. Right? That's a bummer. Yeah, now, accusation a- with, hey, we found out. It's different. Yeah. Hey, accusation. A, a founded you guys argument. Put oak, right. You put oak extract in that, and somebody saw a container at the distillery. It was a thing, or there was a picture of it, or we did a lab test, and we found that. Yeah. That's different. That's that fucking, that's a problem. I mean, I think yep. we all agree that's a huge problem. I also think, uh, well, I mean, I don't think such an accusation just to to having craft something. Distillery. Yeah. I don't think just having something at a distillery is also, uh, you know, it, it would be like, Oh, that's a little fishy that we've sure. said something about that and you own it, but we got bleach at our NDP. Sure. We are not putting bleach and stuff. I mean, right. Just now, if you, you have something, Oak extract, it would be a little funky though. Yeah. I mean, that'd be different. You know, if we, we go somewhere and we see caramel oil. coloring, if we see caramel coloring, we're like, what you doing with that? You know, there's not a lot of <laughs> it's very fair. making your um, vodka a little brown. Like, what do we do? You know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It, it would be it. it's on somebody. Listen, I do. I hope that it's all like, you know, figured out. I hope somebody I truly hope it gets lab tested. Somebody find a lab and then see how much it is. And then maybe we'll go down that road. I don't mind going down the road at all. Yeah. And I don't mind. If we find out it has oak extract and it come back and be like, damn, that sucks that we were lied to, whatever. You know what I mean? I don't have a problem with that either. I do um, think to throw a, a smaller brand under a bus is yeah. a bummer. I think, um, I yeah, think that's because I, not I would right. be bummed if people, I mean, people have said that we added stuff yeah, to Rye One. Dude. And it's like, we didn't. I know we didn't. We dude, have people thought people we added. Didn't also. 
people people okay this is this is the craziest this is the craziest conspiracy of all not all time it's not so I, I do feel like we are defending them a little bit because of the fact that we're kind of also in, in the same thing as they are which um, is I, I just would like to believe that there's no nothing weird going on yeah. you know what i mean i like this i like this product a lot i do and i like sean and i very much like the v young rye and the young mm -hmm. bourbons from them uh, maybe they got a hell of an aging situation in Georgia. That's a real, this is, I think, something people pass by a lot. Real possibility Georgia is a real solid spot to age bourbon. That's yeah. very pop or whiskey, whatever. We can call it every word you want. Um, but they don't have cold winters like we do. They don't have, like, they're cl way closer to a Texas climate than they are a Michigan climate. Texas is too hot. Georgia is not as hot as Texas. Maybe that's the right spot. You know what I mean? Kentucky gets winter still. Like, that's the thing is, like, it's not like our winter necessarily, usually, but they get winter. It gets, like, 40s. You know what I mean? Yeah. Georgia ain't – that's not a 40 spot. It's more like an 80 to 400 spot. I don't know. I, I do hope Wait. that there's nothing weird going on right at this moment. I don't think that there's anything weird going on. All right. But, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to chat real quick. Andrew yeah. Fam, he said, you're in business with them. Come on. This is biased. We're not in business. We did a pick with them. We, yep. Yeah, the and only if we were in business, given. we don't we've we are get not money. in business with them at all. We paid for our own flights to come out. We rented our own car to come out. Yep. We paid for our own meals when we went there. Yeah, I, it's not. They uh, graciously hosted us at their distillery for a day. They hosted us and we hours. bought two barrels while we were there. <laughs> is what yeah. happened. Like we paid for the barrels that were our picks. Like they went through Bourbon Outfitter, like all of the picks do. We we're in business with Thirteen Colony literally to the same extent in which we're in business with every distillery we've done a pick. I was going to say, it's the same way as we are with Buffalo Trace, baby. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, I don't know. We're pretty, you can say whatever you want about us. Sean and I are very transparent about who we work with, how we're working with them, where money comes from or where it went, or if we're paid for something specifically. Never been paid by 13th County ever. Never we didn't get a discount on these barrels. We didn't, there's none of that shit. Yep. We, um, while we were there this year, they did give us a bottle of double Oak <laughs> because I had been talking to Danielle about it for a while. We didn't know if we were going to get one. We were going to do a review on it. We got a bottle of double Oak. That's the extent of our relationship. Yes. Um, again, mm -hmm. if we were in, we're in the same relationship as every media sample we've ever gotten. Then you know what I mean? Yeah. Barrel craft spirit sends us a lot of whiskey. We don't even know anybody at Barrel Craft Spirits except one media person. Yeah, like that's the extent. You know what I mean? I don't know. Uh, where where was that? There was a um... talk about unfounded bullshit right there, dude. That's that's a good one. <clears throat> Big J Rock said, "Do you guys get any of the experimental sweet potato distillate?" Tried so, it. Come to find out, Graham also uh, is very Tried passionate it. about distilling and trying different things. I believe and, he's a culinary trained chef. Yeah, he was talking about roasting up. Uh, sweet potatoes um, on the grill yeah. and then using them in the mash. And he's yeah. like, I don't know. I just want to try sudden. If it works, yeah. you know, I can revisit it. So yeah. he just goes back and tries it from time to time. He's like, I don't know. Just try different things. Well, like, bourbon's been well, around a long time. Like we can, we can try different things. Wormstress has got a good point. <clears throat> <laughs> I just, Dan is basically CEO of Sabaro. Or Goodness was great. at one point in time? I've been, I'm a, I'm a shareholder. We'll say that. <laughs> I've been holding several shares, they would say. Yeah. Um, I know like uh, there was somebody in chat that was pissed at us called the kid or something that was saying like, we're everything that's wrong with the industry, which is interesting. Oh. I, because I, I think like those comments, we're not, um, we're not like throwing out accusations again. If we're, if, if, if we're wrong, like if something's going on, that's a fucking bummer. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll make a whole video being like, that's sad. Also, Here's the thing. Let's all get on a, a really quick same page here. If this is labeled correctly, is everybody cool with it? As long as like there's nothing that you yeah. shouldn't have in it, in it type thing, right? I think everybody's cool with it as long as like if this needed to. Let's just let's say hypothetical. If this needed to be a, supporting you. You were supporting me. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said something earlier about how much you hated us. My bad, dude. My bad. <laughs> Um, my bad, uh, dude. That's on me. Really went the other way with that. See, one. I'll dude. If we're, if I'm wrong, I'm very much willing to say I'm wrong, especially like in topics like this. Yeah. It just is what it is. The um, what I will say is, I think I I'm also. You guys take a little. You know what? I'm an optimist. Usually, I like the idea that I like this whiskey a lot. If this hypothetically needs to say, uh, instead of bourbon whiskey, it needs to say uh, American whiskey or something because. <laughs> 
there's oak extract in it, just hypothetically, right? I don't currently believe that there is, but like I said, if I'm proven wrong, I'm proven wrong. Anyways, um, that if it says American whiskey right there at the bottom instead of bourbon whiskey, are we all cool with the fact that there's, there's oak extract in it? I think that's an interesting question. And I think the other interesting part of this is, and I'm not comparing the two brands at all. I want this as a separate statement. I'd like a, a bookshelf, a bookend, and I'd like it to let's start a new shelf. Is everybody cool with good time bourbon or not? Nah? You know, I'm like, it yeah. says bourbon on the good times things. I'm an, and I'm in my old age getting to the point where I'm like, just if we just call it what it is, everybody's still buying your shit. There's some damn good good times bottles out there, truly. And I'm not saying how they were made or how they weren't made because they taste fantastic. If you just called it what it is, I think everybody's cool with it. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of people are arguing the same. Like if the label's good, then we're good. But I don't know. I don't know of any example of any whiskey using oak extract that is being stated out loud. I don't I can't uh, I don't yes, know. I wanted to ask if there was um any companies that are currently using oak extract and making yeah. something good. I have no idea. I don't I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Um if someone could make like a two year bourbon and throw that in there and make it taste mm -hmm. like it's eight, cool man. I'd buy that. Right. Robert also, said <clears throat> sorry, go ahead. You know, they they came I'll out and they were like, you, you know what? We were just throwing in peat um uh, peat extract and making yeah. that i've been like i don't fucking care hey. i'm still gonna buy hey. it keep doing it it is good hey don't stop ever yeah hey, I mean, you just keep doing that hey you let's do lower the price and never stop yeah hey. um okay really quick Robert said agree labels matter labels do matter yeah yes. there's sean and i have gone out of our way and mm -hmm. listen i actually truly thought this was we had this idea this there was this idea we're going to be transparent on the labels and we're going to be very open about blah 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 and people will cool. know what they're drinking you're going to spin the bottle around if you give a shit if you're not an enthusiast who cares what's on the back if you're an enthusiast you generally do so on the back of our labels what we're going to do is put like all the information on it right it's going to be great and then on on the blends this little side pane we got like a spot on the bottles to tell you kind of what's in it or what you're drinking or when you're buying it you know it's the biggest it is the biggest pain in the ass. It has Especially been nothing. Hand labeling it. It's been nothing but a pain in the ass. It's a pain in the ass. Pain in the ass with our design team. It's mm -hmm. a pain in the ass with the TTB. It's a pain in the ass with tooling and foiling and all of these. It's a pain in the ass in every sense of every market. The, our blend has to be done before we can get tooling for a label. Then they can print the label. But if it wasn't approved by the TTB because like a word was distilled, state of distillation instead of distilled in. We fucking scratch, start over again. Like it's a nightmare. That being said, oh, I think most a non enthusiasts don't give a shit what the label says, do they? They really don't. It's just us. It's us nerds. It's just nerds, dude. Man. Uh CJ said oak extract is used in some wines, makes it so okay. roast. Can't imagine making a whiskey good. Brandon said legally could they soak a barrel in oak extract and then finish in a double yeah. oaked barrel. I mean 100%. it would probably be disgusting because like like you could, said, if, like an extract, very little. Yeah, because it's concentrated at that point. Yeah. But you could do that. That you you could do that, but you would in theory have to call that a finishing barrel now. Yeah. It couldn't be that wouldn't be double oaked anymore. It would be bourbon finished in an oak extract or an oak extract barrel like yeah because now they're it's they're how changing good times, it it's yeah urban finished in G good times labels if they don't hypothetically if they're i'm not saying they're adding stuff let's just say let's go down the road of like let's say good times added something to a barrel one time just hypothetically okay if they did that they're labeling other than saying bourbon's great dude every one of the good times labels like this whiskey yeah. finished in X, 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 and it's like, all right, cool, man. Whatever what was, we all know. What was the the honey one that someone just posted um yeah. the other day? And we were like, yeah. damn, that sounds good. The cigar honey, honey cigar. Yeah, cigar whatever. honey. Yeah. It's like four or five barrels. One of them is a honey barrel at the very it's like a cigar blend, kind of like yeah. I think it's the same as Magnus honey at the back. But 38 months, I could have had 4.22 kids by now, says Dustin. <laughs> All right, dude. I don't think you could have had any, truly. I don't think you could have had a single one. I think you're incapable of having one, like you yourself physically. Um, I'm at, I'm at .99 right now. I, <laughs> <laughs> it's the closest you can find. Repeating, of course. Yes, of course. Um, 
I do. I don't know. I just really think. Listen, some barrels come wet, some barrels come dry. We found this out the hard way <laughs> over at HQ. Some Ugh. barrels come completely dry and leak immediately, and the same barrels from the same brokers, like a sister barrel to it, could literally come with with you know wine in it, like a little bit, or yeah. honey in it, or you know whatever. But um, I mean, rye one and rye two were sister barrels. Uh, you were talking a sixty nine barrel yield yeah. and a two hundred and four barrel yeah. yield. Sister barrel, aged in the same place, sat next both, to each other. both Kelvin barrels. Same exact distillate, like yeah. very different colors too, mind you. I was going to say this earlier. One of the craziest conspiracies around our channel ever is that Rye One had coloring in it because Rye One was the short barrel, not yeah. the big barrel. Like, yeah. imagine you're like, dude, we left Rye Two alone with 204 <laughs> bottles. We weren't worried about it. Yeah. But with that 69 bottle barrel, we thought, man, we probably can't sell that one. So we probably should. And 22 proof. Um, <laughs> 69 bottle i mean literally after so they have the same setup that we do at barrel king um it is it's a, a pneumatic pump that just pulls it out of the barrel up into the the bottler itself um they just use a an inline screen filter uh, we had to what stop it every like two seconds basically oh, it felt like to knock out up. the char and then yeah. restart it that joey, joey was, was working hard just sitting in like a a, a, a slurry of char. Yeah. That's Joey why was, it is that color. Poor Joey, dude. I felt so yeah. bad for Joey that day. At one point, Joey was so over and he looks at us. He goes, do you guys need like the last 10 ounces? You know what I mean? Like, we're good, and then buddy. he got it out and it was just li- undrinkable. Yeah. Truly undrinkable. Um, um, the last like half a bottle that came out of it, like you could shake it up and it looked like a snow globe just with like yeah. micro particulate of char. Yeah. When it settled down, there was probably like a solid, like that much of just particulate on the bottom of the whiskey. Yeah. Wild. Um, both says unicorn tears were added to Glen smashing. No, they weren't. Mark Boyer. Thanks for the super chat, Bo. Mark Boyer. You need to mix 20% of your Amarana finish with 80% of the cedar finish and see what it tastes like. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it, man. We've been playing with the Amarana stuff. It got a lot better over the weekend. Yeah. Um, we just pulled so a, a bottle out cedar. to see how it's changing. Yeah. See if it'll settle a little bit. Um, yeah. We got some Spanish cedar stuff coming. I've We're been, dumping an Amarana barrel this week. Come yeah, hell or high water. Like, literally, Sean might be like, Posh! Posh! And I'm going to be like, just putting bottles <laughs> in the bottle. Line, dude. Just fulfilling bottles. <laughs> um. Thank you. I'm not saying membership. shit in that Dustin, room. Appreciate it. Other yeah, than that's, you're doing I, great. That's fair. Yeah. Just like a hey, great job. Yes. If you need Jeez, me, I'm over nice. here. I'm over here. Uh, team 69. Chris. Chris actually headshot the bottle on that, it's which is good. wild. Michelle, love the great discussion. So many points of view. Listen, I do think that this is like it's a it's a topic drama. Like everybody wants like drama or something. You know, we got the ECBP the laser codes right now. Yeah. Got the 13th colony stuff going on. Um. You know, I don't listen. I, it does come down to at the very end. I don't think anything super weird is up. Um, if the label's wrong, that's the whole thing. You know, that's a thing. You guys, uh, Rare Bird and Matt said it has to stay distilled. And uh, not that it makes it right. They're deaf. They're nowhere near the only people doing it. So if this yeah. is the only complaint, then we got like a market. We have an industry issue rather than one distillery mm-hmm. issue. Um, I think we have like a, a probably almost a majority issue. You know, with the industry, but. Um. Yeah. Brandon says, "Just let me know." And Brandon, I'll let you know. Sean's gonna be like sleeping with his baby. Do you know? Just trying to live it. You know, just surviving, dude. He's like instinctually yeah. surviving. Every, everyone is like, "Oh man, you're gonna sleep so terrible." I was like, "Hey, buddy, been there for the last like yeah. month of my life." You know what's so wild? I don't mean to, I don't mean to say this to like make it worse. Okay. It just somehow. Get it's worse. worse. Yeah. Which is wild. Like you have like the stress sleep, right? And the anxiety sleep, which is what you're going through, like the you're going through the sleep deprivation tank right now. Or not deprivation, but uh what's it when you take it away from someone? When you deprive it's deprived, it's deprivation. Yeah, sleep deprivation, yeah. Yeah. You're in like a tank of sleep deprivation. The difference is is once you get to sleep, sometimes you're like, there's a little sleep right there. That was nice. Put that in the machine. And then with the baby, they're like, fuck that machine, bitch. You ain't got no machine. I yeah. kicked your machine. I stole the ATM out of the store and it's in my it's in my basement. Yeah. 
Um, Willow, even my rat too has a lot of micro sediment. Totally covers the bottom of the bottle. Yeah. So yeah. that's the thing. Listen, everybody, you a know, there's just different filters to different. Yeah. Um, I think we have like one extra mesh filter to um, Barrel I, Kings, basically. Yeah, we do. Um, it's just mesh though. It, it's slightly different. Theirs is probably a little bit bigger. I don't know the mesh size off the top of my head, but I mm -hmm. think the inline filter that we have is a hundred mesh. Mm -hmm. Um, real which quick is uh, a hundred and forty nine micron. That sounds about right. If you care. Oh. Um, Richard, I think they should include where it's still unlabeled. Hold on, I'll come back to that. But still don't understand where the overreaching accusation... Uh, the accusations did come from a place. There was a there was a reason, I, and I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth at all. I do truly think that what happened was, I believe, and I, I'll just... I can just ask him, I guess, this weekend. One of the Pursuit guys was blending, and I think that he was playing with Oak Extract to see if he could make something similar. And I believe on record, he's now said he did, which okay. is, I think... I don't know if accusations were previous to that, but if they were post that, then that would have been where they came from. Yeah, similar and okay. Just because you can make something similar doesn't. Mean and I agree. That, right? that doesn't constitute proof in any no, way, shape, or form. It, but it does. Here's the thing. It, uh, I think there's there's a statement to be made of that's really similar. Maybe I'll continue pursuing that. Right. Maybe I'll continue looking. Like I'll follow that rabbit hole a little bit because I'm interested or I'm intrigued. Um, like I think the next okay. part of the rabbit hole, unfortunately, in, in is a is a lab test at this point. I think, right? Yeah, I think and, that's and like where said, it has to it, go. That's going to be about your only one, and I'm going to guess if you're submitting one. I mean, if you submitted two samples and one of them both tested, you'd have to tell them what you're looking for more likely sure. than not. Sure. Um, other, I mean, so look at it this way: if you know what you're looking for, so you could submit the oak extract the double oak and probably just a normal bourbon from them and say, you know, tell me what's different in there. It yeah. would still probably be like a long list of compounds. Um, I'm, I'm intrigued to talk see. directly to uh, at least one of them about like why they're very sold on it. Does that make sense? Yeah, I would. They seem pretty sold on it. Like, is there just something that we don't know that they know? But maybe like they haven't posted it somewhere or something like that. I don't know. I have no idea. If it's false, would they sue? I don't know. I think they're doing okay. I would love to know what the chemical makeup of oak extract. You know, I can I just mean? I can just ask. Well, yeah. like I'm gonna be with one of this is the thing. Yeah. This is why I'm not trying to like this is I have no we have no problems. I'm not trying to throw like pursuit under any bus or anything like that. It's not that. I have no problems with them okay. at all. Real They've quick. been great the times that we've interacted with them. Shoot um, and said, don't sweat it, Sean. You'll be fine. We had triplets and survived that. Probably okay, barely. Like huh? Probably barely. Um, but I, I don't have any. I, I like I've listened. I've, I've listened to a metric shit ton of their podcast. Truly. Um, mm -hmm. The round tables I always listen to. That's how I found out about Sealbox actually was through their podcast a long time ago. But I don't know. I don't have any problems. I just they like. One of them or both of them, I think um, Minnick believes there's something going on too, which I think is interesting. Well, someone Minnick, said, does Minnick know something? And that's why he left it off his list. Minnick said, or somebody said on Minnick's behalf, there was a statement made somewhere. The reason it's not even in his top 100 is because he thinks something's going on. Okay. And it was more specific that's than fair. that. It was literally to the extent of, I, I thought the statement was, I think that this thing is in there, so it's yeah. out. I don't know. What, um, I don't remember what that thing was. It was a name in which you would understand it, and I don't because it was a scientific name. It was like it sounded like a chemical to me, okay. right? But and may, I don't know, man. I somebody get a lab test done. You know what I mean? Like I just like let's get it over with. Um, okay, Andrew so, still here and still hates us. You guys should have not commented, just like Thirteenth County on the editors. Here's the thing. I will say, um. If they just came out and said we don't have any, would you just believe them? Yeah, I, I need a hard yes or a no in chat, Andrew. Because if the answer is no, what's the point, right? This, this, this. There, you think not everybody comes out and like argues points in like an in industry, or and it's like I don't. Why did they? Say, I don't know why they said that. Or we don't want to talk about whatever it is, right? Dustin, thanks for the ten gifted, buddy. I appreciate it, man. Uh, a couple things. Someone, oh man, a while ago said like doesn't it benefit um 
people to basically throw accusations around like this because it drives views and stuff like that. And yes, it, but if you get proven wrong, it, it, it casts a very negative light on you too. I, yeah, I don't think, I don't, man, I don't know. I don't know the Pursuit guys well. We've emailed yeah. is the extent of which I know them. I can't imagine though. Because I, I think more realistically, like a, a liquid oak would be naturally occurring chemicals. Um, now, if they were at like a, uh, but the problem is you're going to need something to like compare it against to. Oh, here you it, go. And they're also in a very like um, unique place that they need. They would need something that would be a control. And That's there's not right. really a control to put it against. Um, so it's like maybe maybe it's untestable. Maybe that's the problem. Yeah. Um, I think maybe just their normal bourbon would be the only thing. It's not the same proof. So maybe if you had like a pick and you could put it against that, a uh, single barrel. Um, but it would really depend on levels. And even still, uh, drawing a correlation there might be hard. I don't know, man. It'd be shitty if it's like truly unprovable. Either yeah, way, I mean, it'd be nice if this were just proven. We could just cap it at the, like one day. We're like, "Hey, we were right yeah. this whole time," or we and we'd be like, "Hey, Andrew, chill, bro. You were pissed, remember?" And then okay. he would he would be like, "Yeah, dude, I was super pissed. My bad." Or we would be wrong and be like, "Hey, we were wrong, dude. We got tricked or fooled or whatever. Andrew, our bad, dude. And, but we weren't in business with him." And he'd be like, "My bad for kind of being a little bit of an ass." But I was right the whole time. Um, yeah, I mean, he said he would certainly believe them. Andrew, based on your comments tonight, I don't think that that's true because we have we are not in business with him. You well, don't believe us? I, he thinks we own fucking stock in that company, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be honest right now. Hey, man, I, I hope they I succeed. Not I kind of wish I did own. Any I, I other reason. They were great. We, we've I been to a lot of places. doing cool stuff, yeah. We've been to a lot of places. That was a cool place. And those people, while we were there, they were great. Yeah. So, and I don't. What the other thing is, is outside of this bottle, outside of the label or, or whatever, this conversation, you don't ever hear anything bad about anybody down there. No. You don't hear bad shit about any of them. You know what I mean? So that's kind of like, it would be a bummer, dude, because you kind of get to like hang out, have a cool experience, have good whiskey, whiskey that we truly enjoy a lot, like really love it. And, we're not and then it would be a bummer. Yeah. Y'all's pick is as dark as if the accusations were true when they have modified y'all's barrels too. Yeah. Could have. How would they hide that from y'all? Well, in the, well, I don't know that it those, seems the barrel like would have already been tampered work. with in yeah. theory. That would have been like that would be the argument for that, that our barrel had already been, you know, X had already yeah. happened. So um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm really hold on. I didn't uh that muffin man. I spoke with the guy who wrote the article before publishing. He refused to reach out to the distillery. Listened, listen to me about some of the information I heard straight from them and disregard tons. Wait, what? Do you understand that? Yeah. He refused to reach out to the distillery. He listened to me. So apparently he, the muffin man talked to uh, yeah. the person that wrote that article and yeah. he said a couple excerpts, took stuff. And disregarded a bunch of it. Yeah. So that I mean, muffin that's, man that's also modern then, day, okay. modern day media go. right there. That's called cherry picking. Um, well, okay. Here's the other thing. And not that you want to, it's going to be, it's not going to be a real comfortable experience to go somewhere and write an article about how you think they're doing something. That's kind of hard. That yeah. being said, the pictures that he posted were not his pictures either yes. of their distillery. But it's, it's not it's like also very easy to read through that and see how it's very slanted one way. Um, and when you also don't reach out to the people you're accusing things of, like sure. it makes sense. A lot of people will be like, Hey, we reached out and they declined to, um, like answer any questions or sit yeah. down, whatever. Mm -hmm. But if you just sit, you write this whole thing and you're just like, didn't even try to talk to him. It's like, mm -hmm. all right, man, that's a bummer. If that's true. Um, but still, also I mean, if, if you believe this and you, you go, what would be the, the, the point of talking to them? They're going to deny it. it. Makes you sound a little crazy. Sure. Muffin Man said, I spoke with Max, President of 13 Colony. He gave tons of information of how much they're able to produce when they will be using new distillate and other stuff. This is the thing. This has been our experience with Max um, as well is I asked a lot. While we were there, we had a cameras out. They were aware we had cameras out. Um, I asked a bunch of questions. We all asked questions throughout like the tasting room portion of us being there. 
and he answered every one of those uh, mm-hmm. and then said we have an NDA on who's making it, but that was it. There, I, everything else was answered while we were there. Now, this all truly comes down to do you believe them or not? Like Because they're saying they don't in theory, right? And then some people, like people are saying they do. So it's kind of like, I don't know, man. If you're not going to believe them, I don't know what to do. And if you can't lab test it, everybody's chalked. The whole argument's nonsense. Because you can just say, I'm just not going to buy it anymore. That literally just comes in. That's it, yeah. right? There's no other outcome at that point. So, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think that that becomes a very hard thing. Conflict of interest. How about Bourbon Pursuit and Pursuit United both being the same people? And one entity acting like a neutral source, the other hawking their product. I don't think that that's... Wait, what? I don't like, think that's a conflict of interest. Product. Yeah, that's the... I think that they've built a platform in which now they're allowed to help themselves grow on a different side of the business. We, I think that that's uh, smart. I think they've, I th- they're they doing a good job with that. Um, truly, honestly. I, I mean, we talked about it on our Whiskey of the Year list. That's why we didn't include any of our stuff. Because no we matter can, where it places, people will say it's biased one yeah. way or the other. Um, well, if it loses, people are like, yeah, you guys are idiots. It wins. Yeah. People are like, of course you can't win. <laughs> yeah, but Cheeto, Cheeto, Cheeto like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I mean, there was stuff that came low on that list that I would sit down and drink any day of the week. For sure. Um, For like sure. the Woodford stuff came low this year. It wasn't the best stuff of the 18 bottles, but I mean, the Sonoma stuff, we killed like a half a bottle. Yes, like legitimately. I love that whiskey. But when you put it next to the 17 other bottles this year that we had a chance to get, uh-huh. and I truly loved, it was at the end. That That's just what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think I truly believe, and I, we don't have a way to do it and just be completely unbiased. I do think that Rye 1 would have placed really well on our Rye of the Year list. Yeah, I probably would have won that. But, you know, I think our 13 County Rye pick would have done really oh. well on that list. Probably. Yeah, I would have. Or I don't know, price second, but again, again, and mind you, it's just I don't know. You get, you're immediately pissing like a group of people off. Now, this being said, I want to circle back really, really, really quick. I will say, truthfully, the Pursuit United stuff is good. <laughs> they are they do like they are hawking their product or whatever as they should. Their, stuff. their business is good. It's good. You know what I mean? It's not like they're putting out bad product by any means. So, no. but. Um, what was the uh, the oak project or something like that that we just got from them? Those were back? the yeah, like French oak. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know if they're cubing or barrel finishing or what they're doing, but that those were really good. It was a good blend. Those were really really good. Um, uh, Odyssey Rider, real quick. I'm sorry. He said Fred Minnick said that he got a uh, saccharin, an artificial sweetener note on the 13th colony double oak. Oh, interesting. Saccharin is what it's called. Yeah. Hold on. How did you spell it? I couldn't find the thing. Can you click it too? Or are you logging? No, in I'm not allowed account? to. Oh, okay. How do you spell uh, sack? S A C C H. I found it. Okay. I'm gonna look that up and dump some in my mouth. Oh, it's just sweet and low. Yeah, oh, okay. I was gonna say, buddy, you've. Oh, had, interesting. It's just it's artificial. I don't drink uh, that zero shit, calorie dude. sweet. <laughs> I would never. Um, yeah. That seems like the weirdest thing to accuse someone of. Saccharin. Are you drinking it right now? So yeah, the, well, um, what's this? I think this is our this is our pick. I'm drinking our pick. Um, Zach from Bourbon Kingdom, what's up? I you got different beautiful arguments, people. Fred, have, have I missed anything important? Cheers, gents. I think um that'd be fun to talk to Fred about. I don't think um, uh, an, I think you'd have to be kind of careful with like now see that one would be a very easy one to uh chemical put into uh Mm -hmm. lcms and find yeah that's fair um i do think (laughs) i really do think listen man oh cj tasted that in discord sorry buddy i've I've tasted i've tasted blackberry in whiskey before and i'm a hundred percent sure that they didn't mash them up and put them in i think i think a note and this is why i love the I love this conversation with Fred because I don't know that a note would specify that something was in it or not. Does that, you know what I mean? I don't know if I've had enough sweet and low to discern that as a flavor. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I've ever really had that unless 
Yeah. Someone served me some really bad diner coffee, and I was like, "All right, we need sugar." Well, we don't got any. Well, we got sweet and low. Yeah. Last the option. other th- the other thing is is not this is all the other thing. Fred and the pursuit guys and maybe some others might know something that like we don't know that hasn't made, been made public or whatever. Or somebody sells something or. Now that being said, I in theory by now I think because of the rants that I've seen in like Facebook groups and stuff, you would think yeah. that some of that would have come out. Probably, I do think that I, uh, I don't know, man. A tasting saccharin juice and toothpaste. Interesting. I, my dad puts in his coffee. Yeah, you know I mean, like I don't. Jeb, um, bourbons do have an ingredients list. It's called the mash bill, theoretically. Yeah, dude. That um, what's that? What's that rye? What's the um? Oh yeah, the the it's um, on the front the of the bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That says that it has an ingredient list on the front, which is kind of cool. And it's well, like rye I, was it sugar cane or uh Ill- i don't know what was it i thought it was iowa or something like that i don't know it's it does it isn't it starts with an i but it was it says like uh rye sugar cane yeast yeah. and water or something like that uh, yeah. right on the front pretty big letters too like not fine print and like prohibition um recipe, recipe rye yeah okay, it, said, it was in our last uh blind barrels box it's so good it's so Cam said, remember when you guys said you paid big bucks to make your 13th bourbon pick my top of the year? Is that check coming soon? <laughs> hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Dan said that. Check clear. Uh, no, I said you could win on Friday. If oh. you put it first, I'll let you beat me, is what I said. Oh, um, yeah, that was option B. You took that one. That's yeah, bad, you, what I remember. You, you, were, you were so tired of me shadowing over you, Cam, that you had you took the, you took the removal of the shadow. Um, yeah, and you got no proof anyways. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Matt so. said, I've had too much sweet and low that I have no idea what it tastes like. That seems like a problem. Matt, don't I think sweet and low is really bad for you, isn't it? Uh, I mean, it's, yeah, they're not great. Most of the artificial sweeteners, I think, are coming out that they're not great for well, you. you th- okay, hold on. Is that Jared or Matt is the question? You know what I mean? Because uh, Matt's that a is YouTuber. Definitely Jared. Does does Jared hand over the reins of the YouTube channel? Hell to Matt? no. He was in here as ADHD whiskey earlier. I know, but Matt's a tricky, tricky, tricky man. You know yes, what I mean? He is. Jared, how are Two-time you? Two-time blend again champion right there. Two time. <laughs> Barrel King Bourbon. Artificial sweetener saccharin is a note you can get from rebarreling. Oh, that's that's super interesting. That's extremely interesting. Maybe that's why Matt doesn't like it. Dude, holy shit, what if? No wonder they're in fucking cahoots together. Matt, what if Matt hey, has had Self-proclaimed so much sweet and low at this point in his life. Oh, his body's rejecting it. Turn yep. off. Yeah, he's yep. out on it. That's really interesting. Did BJ get the actual barrel from your pick? Do they sell used barrels? They oh, we did not get the barrel from our pick. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think so. There were empty barrels while we were there that had the heads off. But anyway, um, yep. so I I, you know I don't know like? that. Listen, barrels. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, they I would imagine. I don't know that it would do us any good, I guess, because you wouldn't be able to tell. I don't know that you'd be able to tell the difference between any of them, but. um, Oh, man, dude. Andrew's mad at Chris now. Chris, what'd you say to Andrew, dude? <laughs> Chris what said he, say? he said everybody's ignoring you, Andrew. <laughs> um, well, I'm Andrew, Andrew's kind of being a downer, man. Andrew doesn't like Andrew doesn't I, like the fact that we don't think something's going on. I get you're on the other side of the argument. We have sure. nothing to gain um, yeah. is no. all we're trying to tell you. It's no. This is solely how we feel. Yeah. Um, that I don't think there's been enough evidence or really any to suggest that they're doing anything outside of the rules and regulations that everyone else is playing in. Here's what we, here's what we know. This is what we know for sure. A lot of people like 13th County Double Oak. We know that. We know that it's a craft distillery. We know that. Yeah. We know that maybe the label should just say distilled in whatever state. These are the things we know. I think we can all agree on those three things. Yeah. I think outside of that, I would argue, I can't, I would just be shocked if they put color. I don't even think the color argument should be made at this point. No. If you want to like go down the rabbit hole of somehow figuring out if there's an extract or something, I don't feel like there is. Personally, I still drink it. I enjoy it a lot. I feel like that's almost the only rabbit hole to go down now, except it's, like people who cares want about the label the to say by. something. A lot of people do it. We know it's kind everybody, of still. They've said it. it There's no way they're adding coloring. Um, yeah. The only really unknown that has never been uh, substantiated in any way, shape, or form, um, other than someone saying that they could create something that's very close using 
oak extract. Sure. That also doesn't mean that they're 12, 11, 10 year bourbon, whatever, double oaked is using that. That it would seem silly to use that. Dude, there's a chance. There's a chance in any state in the United <laughs> that at 12 years old and double oak and cast okay. strength, probably pretty dark. At you know? 136.8 proof. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In a in a pretty warm climate, I don't yeah you know, I don't think the coloring argument is I think the coloring argument is kind of silly, but people like really get pissy at Dalmore for that. Now I understand like the legality is different here. Dalmore is allowed to legally put it oh, in man, there. Come to find out, red dyes are not good for you. Yeah, um, <laughs> well they're using tar they're using caramel, so I think <laughs> in theory it's better. Uh, but I like some people say they can taste the caramel coloring in um, Dalmore. Yeah. I don't know what it tastes like. I'd have to taste it individually and then try the whiskey, I guess. But I would frown upon that. I feel I drink Dalmore. I like Dalmore, but I also like their I don't cigar know. Malt or... Dude, their cigar malt is fucking. Hey, your mother not petting you? Can we get a side by side on camera? The BJ pick next to the double oak. Yeah, I got them both right. I think we I should test the boycott Malort bourbon first before anything said Javi. Well, bourbon. From Malort comes from Dickel or from MGP. They source from both of those spaces. They are both very dark. They are but, both very dark. So this is the double oak right here that I'm moving. That's supposed to be, I think this year's was 11 years. This is a 10-year bourbon from them. That's not double oaked. Um, <laughs> ours is 130.8 proof. I, I've, I've gone. I, far I do it. honestly believe that they um, are in a very, very cool environment scape. They get humidity. Mm -hmm. They get heat. Mm -hmm. um, humidity drives up proof like crazy, um, unless it's cold and humid, and then it just does the opposite. So humidity plays a huge uh, role in proof change, mm -hmm. and then heat. Um, and like I said. It was warm when we were there, and it was very cold in Michigan when we went there. Okay, so this is it in the glass. The other thing that we should be taking into consideration is when you hold a bottle up. Oh, that is the path very on that is very, yeah. yeah. So That's a scientist would way, call it. Yeah. The path so, of length. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. You know, I know what that's, that's from called. the old too. UV Viz days. Yeah, this is it in a glass. Like, that's yeah. like a normal pour. It, it's got like a red hue. It's kind of... Honestly, it's it pretty Quay Hill color. It's very Quay Hill color esque. So it's King of Kentucky. Um, there's a very like uh very slight hue, very, very dark. Hey, Georgia yes. has Texas heat, Maryland humidity. I remember hearing that everything is everything is aged in Georgia. Yeah, they are very, very big on their aging. Like they do um seemingly push a lot of blame or credit, I guess, into aging. So yeah, one thirty six point eight. Sorry. But um, our, I was saying ours is 130. Uh, our pick is 130.8. I think, you know what? I think it's really hard. I think it's hard to just trust our palates on the fact that whether this is fucky or not, right? Um, because it's everything that we enjoy in a glass. Well, no, I, just people in general, everybody's different. Oh. Number one, 100%. number two, like you're like minute gets a different, you know, there, experience than there you are and I get type thing. that I'm hypersensitive to, um, yeah. you as well. And yeah. I've never been able to discern what gives some whiskey that flavor. It's been mm -hmm. all over the map. It's been different sourcing. It's been different barrels. It's been different, uh, like distilleries even. Um, there's just something that every now and then I get a stale water note on. Never been able to trace it to what it is. Just it is most rise for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this point. Older MGP rise, I do get yeah. a lot out of. Just weird, um, yeah. But I've gotten it out of bourbons um just random different places and barrels so it just happens oh detling this is interesting we haven't been here detling cast strength is just as dark as 13 Colin double up that shit cooks in the heat listen if we had like the type of relationship with um 13 Colony that andrew truly believes we have um oh. If we had that relationship, I would, ship barrels, on our I website. would ship barrels down there and let them age down there. Without a oh, doubt. I wouldn't even, yeah. I, I'd probably ship all of them. I was going to say, just, all of our contract distillate would literally go. Moore, move them on down. Yep. Why, why not truly? Like, honestly. But, um, I, listen, there's a, there's, 
We all know Texas is too hot is what we know. And it's too dry. It's too hot and too dry. And so if you could get a Texas E Texas esque climate in a state with humidity that has cool nights, because I think Georgia still gets cool nights. Then I think that we're talking like Kentucky Sweet. has these periods that are slow for aging. Michigan definitely does. Maryland does too. Um, you know, Tennessee, very similar climate to uh, Kentucky. I really think like you just be like, yeah, man, send everything down to fucking Georgia. Maybe we just buy a warehouse in Georgia, dude, and we'll, I, and we'll bond it and we'll just move our shit down there. Like, you, you, you know might what? have a point. You know, and I think that maybe we just pursue that either way. <laughs> maybe we just do, you know what? This is a new 2024 year of aging yeah. in the old GA. Who wants to go check on our barrels for us? We have one volunteer. You can go. Yeah. We just rent the other half of 13th Colony right now. (laughs) We just need like a back corner that you guys got. Yeah, yeah, comparatively, we don't have that many barrels. You guys have thousands. We've got hundreds. Yeah. Um, Let's throw like a couple hundred, 120 down there, let's say. Yeah. I'd like Um, to see some wave save action down there. Dude, I bet it's wild. Uh, That's probably too much. It might be. You might be able to cook a wave save out in like six months, though. I I also (laughs) think you could probably do like a finishing cube project or the spirals or whatever you want and yeah. probably about 24 hours yeah there. the interaction just in, in the south in southern states interaction is extremely high so come to find out um a lot of good bourbons made in kentucky for a reason yeah climate's uh, pretty big well i think like man it's what's so interesting is kentucky's not that south you know what i mean um okay like joey that's a good question he said do we see the same color in other whiskeys from Georgia, like ASW? Thoughts? I haven't had too many of their products. Like we've had a couple of the Fiddlers, which I don't think have the same age statement or the proof. I no. This is. I mean, the age statement is for sure. Where some of the accusations are like, I that's a damn double barrel. They got big. old whiskey, man. They got yeah. real old whiskey. For I know, I know they're fifteen, but they got old whiskey. <laughs> All of the Georgia, like the Fiddler stuff, I think we've had like four, maybe mm-hmm. five, six, four to six. I'd say, I don't know, something like that. But I don't know, man. Well, I think I wonder what it would cost to create a Georgia climate inside a building. Asked, uh, well, we need a really good Forster heating probably. and cooling company. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. I mean, we could yeah, do they're it. really good. We would just have to like. Spend a lot of money. Uh-huh. Yeah. I wonder what would be more expensive. Getting a pole barn in Georgia. Less money. Or. Less money. Because when it is negative 20 yeah, here, yeah. and we're trying to heat it to 90 on the inside. Yeah, that's fair. With 75% humidity, going to be uh, a real issue. It's the access to the barrel issue, though, you know. How much is that, that worth? We got to start open leveraging. the roll-up door and it goes yeah. from yeah. 90 yeah. to 40 in 26 <laughs> seconds. Instant. Um, the four truck got in, shut yeah. the door. Oh, it's cold as shit immediately. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah, but we wouldn't need access on all of our contract distillate. In Just Georgia, we might. <laughs> chuck her all down there for Just, a couple years. When it's two and a half, it's time to start trying shit. But. Yeah, I don't know. Does it like? I guess I feel like this was a good conversation. I feel like, I feel like we're being fair. Mm-hmm. I truly love Thirteenth Colony. Um, it had nothing to do with a business proposition. Oh. I do love the products. People were great. Oh, that's it's good time through because of the light. You see all the sediment on that glass. Yeah, Ugh. that seems good. Good to the last drop. That Honestly, seems good. Very good. Briar, I'm sorry, dude. There, the the only ad at the front of this should be skippable, dude. And there's no, we're placing nothing in the middle here for this, for the live. There's no yeah. ads in here for the live. There's a beginning, but it should be script, skippable. I'm sorry if it wasn't. Um, um, yeah, I, I don't think so, Curzel. I, I don't, don't know. think. I, I, I do like the bourbon pursuit guys. Them. I don't want to. I like them. I don't want like. That's why I say I'm not taking sides over and over. I like those guys. You know what I mean? I don't. Um, I like their product. I like their podcast. I, I enjoy, I don't know. I think we get along. I don't yeah. think there's anything like, you know, with that, but I am very excited to see the first, um, like big spring for us when we start going from mm-hmm. like 70, yeah, 40, yeah. 75, yeah. 30. And it's just yeah. like, 
Michigan spring really working uh -huh. some spirits. Buddy, I'm I'm so looking forward to just a I I'd love a solid hundred degree week this year. A whole week. <clears throat> We leave every door open. We just camp. My energy there. bill wouldn't. <laughs> we just, we just, we just camp there with all the doors open, and we just make sure nobody's stealing shit. All the doors are open. We're sleeping there. But who's stealing barrels of whiskey? I don't know, dude. There's so, somebody. I mean, think about you're the one that, that told me about rolling the barrels down the river and shit to they get them floated them down the river. That's oh, okay. different. That is sure. different. That's fair. That's fair. And they were highly motivated. Um, they didn't write the article. There, I don't believe. I don't believe that the article was the article uh, was written by somebody that's not named Pursuit anything. So, and I don't want to. I'm not pointing to the article because I don't want. We don't need. Traffic. I don't think people need to go over there and hit that article at this point. But especially with a broke fork truck. <laughs> hey, we're getting one, a new one soon. New one any day. Yeah. Any day, we're leasing the shit out of a fork truck, guys. We, I mean, realistically, that one got us along. Did we get our money out of it? No. Um, <laughs> but you know, I thought you were gonna say yes. <laughs> no, 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 we did not. Yeah, they got us. Hey, she, you know, she was, she was, she wasn't here for a long time, but she was here for a good. We time. hope it buys it back, and if they she don't, we're gonna shit. call on everyone to give them a one star review. <laughs> yeah, true though, huh? I, them. I asked them for an update yesterday. Got that zero guy text back. Really doesn't want to help us at all. It's the most infuriating thing. Like just a little, like oh hey, I'm sorry that happened. We can we oh, work on helping it. you out a little bit. None of that, dude. He said, "Oh, you just want to sell? It? Send pictures. Send pictures. Didn't hear from him for five days still. I just like, that's weird. Why is there a pallet on there? Because I can't fucking get it off, chief. Gosh, dude. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, oh. we're getting a, a deuce on though. A uh, the sun. We need to get uh we need you know what we need? We need like a sweet rap that's like a Harukin from Street Fighter. <laughs> but it says do san down the side and like it's coming out of his hand. It's a whole dude, that would be so cool. Uh oh I don't, I don't know about that. I don't I think, think it'd be pretty good. It'd be a sweet rap. We'd be the only forklift wrapped Street Fighter ever. You know what I mean? Dude, hey Dylan, I've gotten money out of my Audi. Specifically, money from the the insurance company. Um, but it's still ticking. He's still driving it. He's still Dude, driving. I, it. I had a great day driving around today. I was coming home. Did forty five behind a semi the whole time. I go, I'm not passing. Oh, not gonna do gosh. it. Okay. And then I watched well, the hey, truck fly by eighty, and I go, Good luck, sir. James, I appreciate that, dude. I appreciate that. Well, listen, I did ask because we had a couple different options, um, and. The other one was a Mitsubishi, but the Mitsubishi was used and basically the same price. And yeah. so uh, it kind of turned into a, um, hey, this one's brand new and, it, and you're going to service it and it has a warranty and we and we can lease to own. You know what I mean? It's like, all right. Have you guys ever thought about sending barrels to different places to age them? It'd be cool. It'd, It'd be, be cool. Expensive. I cannot do it. It's not as simple as that. Unfortunately, yeah. but um, it's um, it's like barrels just can't go anywhere. Like you have to have a DSP, and then it has to be a transfer and bond form. It's like yeah. we can't just ship. Somebody asked us, they're like, "Hey, you, you know, I got like a ton of space. If you want to store some barrels, and it was like, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, and it has to be bonded, a, has to be a commercial house, space. Yeah. It has to be industrial zone. It ha it's like a whole thing. So, Aaron, it needs I to be cleared by the federal government. Aaron, that that's a big one. That uh, differentiates it from being legal in that. Aaron, in, in theory, we are uh, we're paying them. Oh, we are in business with them. Fuck, we're paying them. Doosans are solid, cheaper than Toyotas. I love to hear that, dude. Toyotas are apparently awesome. Very. We did hear a lot of good uh, feedback when Dan was like, "Hey, we're looking at Doosan," and a bunch of people were like, "Oh, great, we've got them in our uh, warehouses or whatever. Love them." Didn't say someone or didn't someone say that they were like the lowest maintenance ones that they own? The maintenance manager from the people we're buying it from. There you go. He's like, I never got to work. He says it about things. every brand though. Hey, yeah. Pepper, nah. Hey, that's cool. For you. That's fine. He's the guy who's got to come fix it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's true. <gasps> Can you put a barrel on a canoe, age it for a day on a lake, and say aged at sea? Um, no, because that's not a sea, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we could probably come up with a fun name for that release though what's up kira um what we could do we could dig a pond like a small little pond in the back <laughs> yeah a, moat. And a little raft we should get a moat dude <laughs> we should get a moat no, why do doubt. people install fences to when sell. you could install moats well there's the cat trying to get the beer glass we could get some uh here. Here. we could get some freshwater gators put them in them put them in the moat i think they they like to sunbathe what do gators do in the winter just die hibernate probably but they don't really live anywhere that's super cold they're yeah. reptile dude they're cold-blooded don't get i wonder they if live they in warm die. places it would be it would suck to have to ship them out every winter when it froze oh they probably need oxygen huh uh well i mean they don't live underwater. underwater there's good Nah, I don't think it's enough, dude. I don't. We have to go break the ice for them so they can pop their little heads up, trying to eat us. <laughs> All gators It'd be cool to have a pet gator. It oh, would wait. be cool. Pet gator does feel different. Imagine, well, hey, nobody's stealing shit with gators there in Michigan, buddy. If there's gators here, you're not you're not stealing a yeah, shit. I'm pretty sure. Um, just having cameras in the security system. Sure. With someone on standby, it's going to be cheaper and more legal than gators. We could figure out the legality with gators. Yeah, but when they walk off and eat someone, liability is high. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Gators are pretty lazy, you have though. Children, yeah, you should point. not be advocating for gators. Dude, every time we go somewhere, Ricky's like, we got to go see the gators. They love them. They love them. <laughs> it's wild. It's wild. Not a fan. I, uh, they're cool because they're dinosaurs. Other than that, they're lame as shit. Yeah, buddy. Why would you trust anything that hasn't had to um, like evolve, evolve in the last couple yeah. million years? Here's the thing, though, about the like gators. Realistically and truly and transparently, gators, dumb animals if they weren't old. Imagine today, gator. We just found it. New species. That'd be cool for six months. We don't give a shit anymore. We only give a shit because they've been around with dinosaurs. Hear me out. We just buy old gators every year, right? Yeah, or just let them let them live their life out, dude. Yeah. Summers in Michigan are beautiful. They would love, love that. It. They yeah. live in zoos here, actually. There are gators in Michigan. We could just steal those ones. It's not that <laughs> hard. It's not gonna make grand larceny with animals. Is stealing gators from a zoo is difficult. There's no way, dude. There's no way. I bet opening a distillery is harder. I would um, bet money, dude. There's still a uh a zoo. That shut down. I don't remember if it's in like Tampa or something like that. They just have a dolphin still in there. There's a guy that flies a drone over there and gives updates about it. Real Are thing. they allowed to do that? I I think it's like an abandoned thing. This guy just keeps like calling. Was like, there's hey. no way. Are you he's like, I can get resources to get him out of there. And it, it like it's a call in, and the lady's like, I don't I don't know what you're talking about. What? Not a real thing. That feels very illegal. He Dolphins are too a, smart a to be living alone. There. We gotta yeah. save that dolphin. We should do a fundraiser. You can, uh, there was an NFL coach that was building a jet to house a whale. Did you know this? I swear to God, this is real. I know it sounds not real. I pinky promise it's real. Okay. I need chat to tell me about that gator or not the gator thing. The, the dolphin. The, the dolphin thing. See if that's still <laughs> happening. And then I need you to tell me about this a whale jet. <laughs> uh, okay. So there was a coach, a football coach, I believe NFL or college. I'm pretty sure NFL. All right. Fell in, he's like a Buddhist. Fell in love with this whale, like not, not like, not a whale like that, but just like he loved the whale emotionally. He was supportive of the whale. Yeah, the whale was at at a space. Cold he needed owner. to go. He Someone wanted had, to go back to the ocean. Had. He wants the whale to live the rest of its life out in the ocean. He's going to build a jet. Swear to God, this is real. To fly the the whale to the ocean and reintroduce the whale to the ocean. Guess what? Well, died like a week before. I swear to God, dude. Buddy, I'm not even. I'm not even messing with you. I swear to God. I think like fifty guesses. That's not one of them. Like not not one. Week out. Well, didn't want to go back to the ocean. Shut it down. Just shut it down. It was like fuck that. Not doing it. So spent two million to make it happen. Well, died right before the flight. See, told you. He's a cajillionaire, dude. He's a, a two million cult. means nothing to him. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, I made that last week on like a fucking bet. Here's the start of the dolphin fund. Cheers, Junkie. He said Tony that bag of dolphins. We gotta save that dolphin, guys. That's crazy. 
We got to save the dolphin. We got to. That's insane. There cannot be a dolphin by itself sitting somewhere in an abandoned zoo. Who's feeding it? It would be dead already. College whale or ocean whale? <laughs> uh, Leave animals alone. Ursa is a jackass. Uh, he loved that whale. What do you mean? He's trying to save it. Wasn't it in like a fucking... Uh, Maybe it was old and I'm just now learning about this. Dolphin was a manatee in Miami Sea, Quar- sea Aquarium. It's isolated, but places open. Peel- people feel bad because it's a small tank. It's isolated, I, but the I oh, saw one open. where the guy like okay. literally had a drone over it, and it looked like a just a algae infested like tank. And there was a oh okay. Joe just said it was moved to Sea World from the abandoned tank. Oh okay, I don't know if that's it, better. It was the they Miami Sea Aquarium. Yes, it was in Florida. They so like they were like flying this drone over there, and the guy just kept calling like all the time and was yeah. like, "Hey, what are you guys doing with this uh, dolphin?" And it just like got grosser and grosser in the tank. Sure. Like, like oh, you want to know what the craziest part about that is? You said dolphin, and Peppa Cat meowed, and she and Peppa Cat sounded just like a dolphin. Well, Peppa Cat it was actually the best dolphin just impression that's Daddy. ever been on this channel. I don't know. Ever. Give it a rip. I'm good. Hey, why don't you get your uh, butt b-hole right out of the camera? It's like a Peppa Dude, trying to start an OnlyFans tonight. This cat is never more snuggly than when I'm down here on camera. She doesn't do this during the day. Of course not. This is a performance. This cat does not love me this much. It's a performance. <laughs> uh, dude, the Colts owner, so he's probably a billionaire then, I'd bet. I bet he's a billionaire. How much you do that? To, to, <laughs> to, buddy, imagine a jet full of water. <laughs> imagine that. Um, okay, hear me out. Hear me That's out. how he had to move it. I had to have water in it. Imagine. No shit, buddy. <laughs> you ever seen water fly? Not hey. really. A-hole. B-hole. <laughs> that hole. tail. Look at that tail's whipping, dude. dude. Let me whip. Hear me out now. Let me name it. <laughs> Two million dollars to move a whale. Sure. Not do anything fucking else productive. With in society, say, well, dude, I think he's a Buddhist. I think I somebody confirmed that. Is that a Buddhist? Is he a Buddhist? No, go, 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 go. Uh, Penn, all this it'll cat. all be like captured, but we talked about all of the 13 colony stuff. Give her the plain. No, nope. <sighs> go to your mother. <laughs> go to your mother, Scott. There's no way they were just going to spray it with water occasionally, right. That's got to be real. That's that seems real bad. The guy's a four point three billion net worth. So Can yeah. you imagine just being like, "Hey man, we're occasionally going to give you oxygen. We're going to yeah. fly you on out there. You're going to hold your breath a lot on this trip. I want you to know that when you get in there, you're not going to have a choice because you can't speak to me. But I'm going to put you in there, and you're going to hold your breath. Every once in a blue moon, you're going to get a. <gasps> that's it. <laughs> like that's all you can. Uh, Garrett said we could release his. Uh, there, there's a snake at Garrett's house, and it's indoors. So, uh, is a pet? It, is it in a tank? Yeah, it's a pet. It's oh inside of a, an entrapment thinger. But uh, he said we could release it no. <laughs> at HQ, dude. There's so many snakes there. It'd have so many families. Like it would have so many friends to be with. True. What these guys don't live together. We do not. <laughs> True. Or there's no way you thought we lived. Well, I mean, we have though. Someday we'll uh, we'll just get a compound somewhere. Yeah, someday we'll have to again, probably at the pace we're at right now. Yeah, man. Sean says one more offhand remark to Gabby. He's actually just going to be dead. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, we. She's just going to kill him before this baby comes. God. I don't know about a porn in juke. Georgia, but She's I got a map. Right now. <laughs> she, she can't go side to side right now. It's just like, dude, Gabby's like an alligator. She's not dude. watching this. She's definitely in chat, by the way. Oh, she just. She's, she just going you. Like She's talked like four times in here. I'm about to get a. Well, good news is chat's a couple minutes behind. Yeah. Well, the good news is I can kick you out before we see a murder on here. You know what I mean? So, yeah, like, your but, murder won't be publicized. Keep it, keep it up. Keep it up. I'm in danger. It'll just somebody help me right now. 
Yeah, you, this is when you got to be like the guy that went on the news and was like, "I my mental health is good. Mm. I she saw this. have no threat to my life, blah, blah, because <laughs> he thought he was going to be killed on, you know what I mean? She said, hella rude. Yeah, I mean, you said that she couldn't move side to side. Yeah. Yeah. That was a really good alligator reference there, and you left it out, dude. And alligators, we talked about it pretty cool. Well, we did say because they're old, though. <laughs> Whales breathe air, not water. That's what the blowhole's for. You know, that is very true. Yeah, but they don't live in air. You know what I mean? No. They live in the water. Yeah. They just come up for air. Holy shit. So whales' entire lives are just them holding their breaths. That's insane yeah. to think about. That sucks, dude. wonder why they don't just come out then. Because they can't walk very well. It's got to be that. It's got to be. At can't all, be anything actually. <laughs> ah, they could, ah, they'll evolve, dude. It's a whole thing. Alligators figured it out. They seem um, dumb as shit. So they're a reptile. They're so dumb, dude. They're so stupid. You ain't gotta be smart to make it millions of years. Dumb as fucking animals. You know why they're so great? Because they're not prey animals. That's why they're that's why they're not extinct. It's because they're not they're predator. Oh, gotcha. If they yeah, were yeah. prey, they'd be extinct because they're shitty. Yeah. <sighs> Knowing Shawnee's gonna get notified via YouTube chat, he's having a <laughs> Dude, Gabby just in chat. It's like, I think my water just broke. I think we need to go. The lies. I think it's still raining out right now, too. Yeah, it was raining. All... It was gross. It's gross. I, I ordered a new mouse because this thing is the biggest piece of shit ever. What is it? Old. I bet it's old as shit. Oh. Nope. Really? The newest mouse I own. It's a Steel Series Aerox well, 9. Yeah, in theory, it would be the newest mouse you own. Not anymore. A new razor <laughs> showing up. Ugh. Straight oh, away, man. went cheap. Went steel series. Don't do that. It's isn't terrible. chicken? Isn't chicken like dinosaurs too? So chickens, yeah. birds. If chickens were bigger than us, we'd be extinct, dude. Because mm. they're they're raptors, literally with yeah. feathers. They were like basically raptors. So the problem is, is they're just little bitch raptors now. But they used to be pretty. I'd like a giant chicken in theory would be a real badass animal, but they're dumb little stupid things right now. <sighs> what's your iq super high nate it was insane actually shockingly high Dan was say. like in the 190s i was by elon walking shit over by elon somewhere somewhere in that galaxy i have no idea what he was registered me neither i think it was 800 or something uh <clears throat> oh i didn't even know it's she got it all right delicious. it had uh, a lot of cherry honestly we're shutting it down in four Weird. Four minutes. Four minutes. Anybody got any questions? Now would be a good time. Yeah. Insects would also be scary. Insects would be terrible. Insects would look like aliens from a like a three foot ant. <clears throat> They'd run the yeah. world. Too many legs. It's terrifying. I don't know because they can lift like 150 x their body. Oh, gorillas Except can kind of do foot that. Tall. Oh no 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 not 150. Kinda. They're like a 10 little bit as long as us. Ants like uh power to weight ratio basically yeah insane. it's just built different i they think they were, were pretty strong um they would just run the world the the problem is is a spider that's big bigger than a, a spider that's the size of a car yeah but they're not predator depends on which one they're an opportunistic hunter sure the ones that dig themselves into the little sand those ones oh yeah you see one of those that's the size of, of a car. Yeah. And it and you know what you're doing? You're walking through your yard. And not only does it swallow the ground, it swallows you. Because it's so big that its mouth, you just fit inside of it, dude. Ants are the real issue, though. They're big. I, I know, but ants, ants are ants are a little they don't eat, they don't eat shit, dude. You could feed it an apple and just take it away. Take the apple with it and leave it, you alone. Because they're tiny. No, no, no. Chickens eat. And, like chickens will eat chickens, basically, dude. Like the, this is you got to look at their diet. Ants just eat like sugar and shit, right? Ants would be fat as fuck at six feet. You got to think about that too. I think they of stop like a moving. Bullet ant. Okay, that's a problem. Yeah, that would be yeah. more problematic. That'd be a real fucking yeah, issue, buddy. That's true. That's more problematic. It's it like cats. You, you die. Think of you look at like yeah. a cat in your house, and then you look at a puma, and you're like, holy yeah. shit. Apex, yeah. apex predator. Unfortunately, she's eight pounds. At a small so. scale. <laughs> it's a scale issue. Unfortunate. Until you get into the jungle and you find yeah. Mufasa. 
and then you're dead instantly, dude. Did yeah. you know that Mufasa's have a nerve in their tooth in their in their in the tiger tooth, the canine lions, one? whatever? You said Mufasa's. When it goes into your neck, yes, they can feel your pulse Heartbeat. through their tooth. Yes, wildest thing I've ever heard in my life. Literally one of the craziest statistics about any animal on the entire planet. Um, jaguars are probably more frightening than lions. I think every big cat ever is the most frightening big yeah, cat. Yeah, they try to murder you. There's a real thing that, like, when you look away, they just try to murder you. Yeah. yeah. That's a big cat thing in general. What is it? Um, Lionesses do that, too, I believe. Like, all big cats. Female lions are big murderers, come to find out. Yeah, there's Someone a lot wrong with that sentence. Killers. Don't worry about that. That's <laughs> both. I don't know. You're always so hung up on grammar, dude. Do you need a hobby? We got to find you something you're good at. Like Warzone's not working, obviously. We got to find you something else uh, to do. You know what I mean? You said they'd answer questions, then went on insect, insect animal tangent. Well, everybody in chat's on animals and insects, too. I don't know what you like. What are you looking for? We're all having a good time here, Ricky. Okay? You get any questions? Do you have any questions? Next thing I see about a Mufasa, an ant, a cat, a crocodile, a dinosaur, a chicken. We're back on that tangent. What's the latest Ricky League? She ain't got shit. I've been, you know what I mean? I've got it locked in at home. Aren't tigers larger than lions? Tiger's supposed to be the most athletic, biggest cat. It's supposed to be the strongest, fastest, most agile, big one. So... Chickens uh, are wild. Francie, I'm uh, oh, sorry. Uh, like Francie, Francie, Maureen, he'd lose that bet. Uh, Monday is our induction day if he doesn't come on the weekend. Oh, Monday? Yeah. Moon day. What did, wait, what did Maureen say? She said Thursday. There ain't no way. It's either. You don't think Wednesday? he comes Thursday? Nope. It's either Wednesday or Sunday. Why? Just what I'm feeling. Those are your two. It ain't What's Thursday. Gabby's thoughts on this? What is she thinking? I don't know. Uh, Garrett, that sounds awful. I think he beats uh, Monday out, but uh, Thursday ain't it. I, you think he beat? I think he beats Monday out too. Yins, I'm looking for your thing, buddy. I'm sorry, didn't intentionally skip it. I'm scrolling though. I'm scrolling and I'm looking. Yins, I'm sorry. You know what? I'm good with Friday actually. I think here you go. Friday's a great day to be birthed on. <laughs> Yeah, I'll try again before you go. Uh, Why do you think there's so much anger and whiskey recently? E13 Colony, ECBP, drum on drum violence. Seems <laughs> to. Um, okay. yeah, I'm so happy. I, I, I don't think it's uh, like a, a violence thing. I think people are way more educated. Um, and I think way, people are, are much more into the hobby. And it's just like people want to know answers that they're not being given. Mm -hmm. It's an information thing. Here's the thing. Trans everybody, I do believe that people have gotten over a lack of transparency. I think people are like, hey, I'd like to know what I'm drinking. I think like that mm -hmm. I, that just is on what you said. People are, do want to know now more so, I think, probably than maybe ever, ever. But I think that what happens is the weird part about it is there's so many uh trains, there's so many paths that go down on this uh this path of like what where's that from? Oh, well. I'd love for Michter's to come out and say where their stuff's from and why it's so incredible. Why is Michter whiskey so special, right? I think everyone we'll, would love that. Right, but um, nobody's bothering them, which I find interesting. I think, like, um, people, like, this kind of, this Willett's done this interesting thing. Willett feels like the oldest NDP in my brain. I'm not, like, there's no, I'm not saying I know that or that's real, but Willett seems like the oldest true NDP that is now Willett's distilling, but Willett yeah. had the most whiskey from the most different distilleries seemingly ever and still does. Yeah. Incredible barrels from legacy brands back pre fires and freaking all this crazy stuff. I think like, will it doesn't ever put on a label where anything's from ever, never. Nobody knows it's Bernheim and nobody knows it was whatever. And so, but nobody ever, ever bitches about will it actually has one of the biggest cult followings in whiskey. I think that it's interesting, this weird, like, we hit this road with 13th, where their label's a big deal, where their contract distilling's a big deal, where, they, like, I think, and nobody gave a shit about Willet, and nobody gave a shit about Michter's, and nobody, it's very, very interesting, but, I don't know, I don't know what it is, 
issue um, the issue is legacy Kentucky distilleries and their fanboys shit on other states in craft offering. Listen, there could be uh you know a Kentucky versus everybody mentality. That's possible. I I wouldn't I could foresee that for sure. Some will some of the best whiskey you ever had, Nicholas Fowler. Some will it's you know just fine. Some it's it it's all what it I think we also is. live in like an information superhighway right now where more often than not, if you want to know something, you just Google it. And when people can't find that answer, it's it's almost frustrating. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, what is it? Where is it from? What's happening? And I, I think like it's not very hard to get very off base very fast. Oh, there's your cat. Yeah. I thought he's been in your chair personally. the whole time. He's been I, in your chair the entire time. He just missed um, you, apparently. I just don't think it's this? hard to get off track very fast. And especially in how niche uh whiskey is that you bring a question up and people are like oh yeah i I guess i didn't think about that and then other people are like hey i would like to know this question too and it just spreads and it multiplies um and it compiles so fast and i that's kind of what happened with the 13th calendar stuff is hey i think Um, this is happening and someone was like oh maybe it is i'll ask and then it just wildfire sure well, and then like if if the if you're able to recreate something similar, right? There, there, yeah. it kind of just gives you like a domino, one more domino in the, that direction, right? Yeah, like one more footstep forward in front of the other one. It was like, well, this is pretty close, or you know, and I don't know. I don't, I'm so intrigued. Truly, I don't know if Ryan or Kenny or Ryan and Kenny are going to be there. Um, the on Friday, I think mm-hmm. one of them. I don't know if both of them. Truly intrigued by about on this topic with them like truly intrigued by it love to know where it came from love to know when or where it started you know what i mean love i don't know that i think that they are getting credit for starting it i don't think they started it i think they're getting credit for starting it because they're like the biggest name or most public brand attached to it Mm -hmm. and they've been in like facebook groups having the debate but i love i don't know i'd love to know like hey why are you so sold on it they're really sold right you're really in I'm not, um, I'm in as much as I really like that whiskey. You know, yeah. I just really um, like it. But I don't know. You believe what you want to believe. 100%. Um, mm-hmm. There are things that we've believed along the way that have probably been false a lot. Yeah. I um, mean, listen, yeah, 100%. Without a doubt. And we've we believe been things that stuff. we've we've been right on a lot of stuff. We've been wrong on a lot of stuff. <laughs> Every time uh, we're right. <laughs> it, uh, I, I don't know. It's just part of being human, I think. Sure. Paul, Paul said 13th century has no additives. I'll put a hundred barrels on it. Now here's the thing, Paul, you said you own like 13,000 dude. So that doesn't feel as confident. Now you need, I need a higher number out of you. (laughs) Oh, Paul's got that. He's a lot. He's has a lot. What do you say that? The highest proof he had like is one forty eight or something. Oh my gosh. Ha. That's cooking. That's cooking. That's cooking. Um, our stuff's going to be like 100 proof because uh, Michigan <laughs> is you know, a cold. A little chilly Wilbur's up here. Dan just reading. Dan just giving up at reading Super Chats at this point. Just from both. And I, and I, dude, that was not the right syllable that came out of my mouth. Hypnocracy. Love Michters. Never even seen a Willet. Can you confirm Michters is brown farming until they age your own discipline? I still think. No one. No one can confirm anything on that. Can I confirm it? No. Do I believe it to be true? Yeah. <laughs> now, here's the, the weird thing is, is we do believe that Michter's, my understanding, my belief is that Michter's is it's sourcing from Brown Form and their contract distilling because I would assume that Michter's did carry this low entry proof philosophy from their distillate at Brown Form and if that's who it was from into their own distillate. Yeah, I think that they're like America whiskey or something like that is all theirs now. Something like that. I think like the Fort Nelson single barrels definitely are not all. I theirs. think anything under like the ten year age statement, something is like that. Mixed. Yeah, anything okay. over. It might be the ten and over, or I, I don't know. There's like some uh, convoluted messages on whether the the like the ten year stuff is theirs or if it's contract distilled or not. Sure. Yeah, and Brandon Mixers already has a dolphin. On an essence label, yeah, he does. yeah, he's real into AI, dude. He loves the AI graphic design stuff. It looks very good. Raiders forever. Who's driving it for water breaks? That's that's not a question for me. <laughs> it's a question for you. What was it? 
Who's driving if her water breaks? Driving what? To the hot... Holy shit. I, my camera is in front of the entire thing. I don't know what you said. You said... I said it four times. Yeah. Go ahead. Who's driving if her water breaks? Not at all what I thought you said. Holy shit, dude. I think you, you missed some syllables in there, and I heard it wildly differently. I said it Anyways. three times. You didn't miss... No, no, no. I didn't mess it up three times. Maybe once. Possible. Okay. Definitely. Bo, if Sean, your only job is to do it. Gabby says the next 18 years. Yeah, That's he what he that. wanted me to read. Yeah, Derek Weaver, check prices in Louisiana as well for a warehouse. Oh, man. there's a, I don't want the risk. Gabby, thank you. I appreciate um, the fact that we all agree that I had said it. Like, you understood what I was saying. Yeah, but I mean? you hit like a different warp. <laughs> <clears throat> if a water breaks like, and oh. there's another one I, buddy I don't get this much support in this chat ever so you know that I'm right this time you know what I mean yeah that's fair when geezer's over here saying I'm right things have hit a fan fluffy will drive who's fluffy I would assume your cat <laughs> I don't know. it's peppa cat she does not have a license there's a lot of people on my side tonight I appreciate you guys you guys are the best tonight on this fine evening. I've heard everything you said loud and clear tonight. Sure. For some odd reason, that sentence structure was not You know not why? Your going. brain subconsciously was out. It's Refusing. Like I'm not, yeah, yeah I'm not, I don't know what you're talking about. That's not happening. Why would even sure. that happen tonight? Right. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Man, look at all these people coming to support Cheechers. Cheechers posted his link in chat earlier, by the way. Dylan said, Dan Ooh. said it clear, but also broke the truck, so... I didn't break down on how the four truck been busted, dude. <laughs> that shit was busted about three weeks after we started using it. Oh, wow. This is the first time my wife's ever said that. That's how you know I was right. I'm happy time. to bring this moment to That's you. Crazy. I know. I appreciate it. You know, this is kind of like your outro. Baby comes tomorrow. You know, the last moment on the channel. Probably was, forever. Was, was, <laughs> <laughs> What we'll we got pass, shot we'll and then pass the reins to like Brandon and Luke. Like yep. they can get, you know, get together and figure it out. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. We're gonna shut it down. Um, Cheechers is streaming. He had posted his link. Cheechers, you want to throw it back up? If you want to go hang out with Cheechers, that would now would be a good time to do so. Because I'd imagine he's about to start anytime. I'm looking for it in the chat. I can't find it. That's right there. Right he there. just posted it. I posted it. And I'm gonna just pin it at the top. Um, but yeah. Replace it, nailed it, got her, and there she is. Love to see it. Baby Paisley will win Matt Madness before his dad. Oh my god! Hey, I'm on a winning streak right now. You I can, you can time him out. Oh, never in mind. Months. Zach rocked his shit for you. So I. uh Oh man. Advent. Man. Kelly's game. Uh -huh. Blind barrels. Yeah. Let. Yeah. So, anyways, we love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you guys. It's the only time I can physically I remove like, Sean from a stream. I forgot about uh, me too. Yard. Too. <laughs> yard. <laughs> me too. Until I grabbed the mouse and shut it down, I was like, "Oh, I yeah. can kick him out." All right. We love you guys. Thank you for being here on Friday. Go 9 p.m. Eastern on Friday on WhiskeyChannel.com. It's the I don't know what the actual name is, but it's already you can go set a reminder on yeah, the channel. There's already a thing there. You can click like remind me or whatever you at bed o'clock on Friday. So what'd you say? You want to bet anything? I bet I come in second or third. Everyone is coming off COVID on this whole thing. No, Cam's good. Cam's been good for like two months. Okay. It is on uh whiskeychannel.com. Mm -hmm. Someone said what channel? That's um, what I said. I they listen like you. Yeah. William Ferguson said what channel? Good I'm job, just, William. Just reiterating that. Luke is posting the link. Yeah, you can go there right now. Like Dan said. Oh, thank you, Chris. I <laughs> clicked the wrong one. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, it'll be a good time. Uh, I'm gonna be doing that from Justin's House of Bourbon in Kentucky. And hey, don't pallet, forget the samples. Pallet already packed. Samples okay. are already packed. Pallet will be blown out by this on Friday night. No excuses. But the palette will be shot. Sounds so, like an excuse. It's not an excuse. It's just like a an excuse. Brian, Brian almost just got banned from our channel for the rest of our lives. Oh yeah, Brian. 
so he Oof. says so badly. Like that's the Oof. thing that bothers me. The statement isn't wrong. The, oh. It's the exaggeration of the statement, which is insane that you would say something like that. <laughs> Holy shit. All That's right. My points. We love you guys. Uh, Sean's baby will just be on the stream next week in place of Sean, just sitting, <laughs> eating, chilling, having a drink, whatever. Good luck to Sean and Gabby through having a baby. You guys will never see Sean again on a Tuesday until that child is seven to eight years old. It's true. Bringing his dad a bottle of whiskey from the- <laughs> Hey, go get the get the blue one. All right, for real. We love you guys. Uh Sean hey, yes, will not so be here because next Tuesday. Yeah, there's so, no way. Everybody say goodbye. We love you guys. Did we miss a new pick announcement? Just going on and pro- probably picking some stuff um pretty soon here. We got an yeah. exceptional series coming. Yeah, um, I think it that. was just bottled. I think it's over 13 now, buddy. I think I got confirmation it's over it's over 13 now. Holy smokes. We picked that so long ago. Yeah. Basically, like truly, basically the full year. So, um, that was but, whenever Thunder over Kentucky or whatever the hell yeah, that was. It was early 23. Yeah. Um, yeah. earlier 23. But, uh, we got a Buffalo Trace pick. The Eagle Rare pick's not in yet. The exceptional series should be pretty soon here. Um, the, we did a Blackwood pick that I'm so, like truly so excited for people to try. When we went there to not pick a pick, we went there to not do a barrel pick. Got a pick. We we found a barrel. And we're just like, Holy shit! So turn into one of those. And we got more uh, virtue stuff coming. Yeah, yeah, we got more. Yeah, Ambarana's getting dumped this week. For those of you that follow me down this tr- this fucking train wreck that is Ambarana, there's an Ambarana bourbon coming. It's coming, and it's coming. Oh yeah, uh, there was a giveaway tonight. Yes, there was. Um. Thank They'll you. Be, it has to go up. through. I got the list has to come from Ryan. Yeah, uh, it's not something that we can track. So okay. Um, then the list will just be you know random people who bought from the link that was pinned. Three of those people are going to get Alec Bradley Black Market to box each. So, um, Perfect. thank you guys for being here. I love you guys. Cheers, everybody. Have a good night. Go hang out with teachers. Pin link at the very top. Goodbye. Thank you guys. See you in the year. <laughs>